up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Damo. Never been a lame. Oh, it's your boy Lamar, aka King Lamar. And as you can see, Jay Willer has made his full transition. Oh, <laughs> 100%. He <laughs> soon will be in the Olympics, right next to Leah Yo. Thompson. No. Uh, so, welcome, welcome to another edition of Willa Wednesdays. Yes. All right? Well, yes. we're not doing the... Um... Oh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> no? Um, all right. <laughs> fuck it. It's all good. Wow. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna save the battle for next week. But we, as you can see, we have a beautiful, radiant, special guest here today. Yes. yes right? Yes. We have the internationally known... Uh, the oh, wonderful top of the top top hot gal in the business. Top gal, right? Uh, Miss Raya the Fire here as our special guest. Yeah, man. Right? Right? Yeah, man. Let's get um, it. Oh, so, with the relationship gurus. That's oh. what I ain't say. Got it. Ah, just clicked. Wow. It's okay. We'll keep. So going. okay. We're not it's, doing this again. No, we're not doing it again. Doing it. <laughs> keep Can we just say it? <laughs> All right. Uh, Willa West. <laughs> so Willa West says you're gonna get your your weekly dose of ghetto news. From your relationship, gurus. Guru. So as you can see, <laughs> yo, when, you we, take, when you take a piece out of a wheel. Bro, a main piece? Come on, bro. It's all right, though. We're going to hold it down, man. All right. Um, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, oh, got that. Tell introduce us a little yourself. bit. Introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about oh yourself. Who, Too much? Too soon? Who is a lot. are you? I am Raya the Fire. I am a musician. Okay. Um, beyond being a musician, I am like just a lifer like i live life and that's what i do for a living for lifer you a, live life for a living yeah that's what i do <laughs> i'm a lifer and i live life for a living can i want that I'm to be no mean. i want that to be something that people remember me by that's fire that's fire that's like i don't want anything that's like generic that everybody has done or did I want to be known for living life for a li- for a living. Living life for a living. I like you feel it. Me? Yeah. I like it. I that's, like it a lot. That's, that's, that's I mean, a, it sounds kind of crazy a, at first. It's, it's, it's a like vibe. It. When you really like think about the, right. the the specifics, it's a vibe. Am I missing more? What you missing? My cup. Okay. Yep, your cup. It looks yeah. like. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, man? How was your week? Oh, how was my week? Uh, now nah, you go first, Dame. You always. How was your week, Dame? I mean, my week was. Well, right. What was your week looking like? I need details. Um, well, on Monday I woke up. All right. That's right. Okay. That's too much. Okay. That's too, that's too, <laughs> God damn. Holy. Dame, no. how was your week? Shit, man. I'm still trying to find. I'm still trying to. I'm almost. I'm almost got somewhere to live now. Almost. <laughs> yo, I keep getting closer to it. Yo, Dame been trying to find a house for three months. <laughs> it's horrible, man. <laughs> he's, he's been it's ready hard. to move for it's ninety hard. days. It's Bro, hard. it's horrible. So I'm almost there, man. Finally. Yeah, trying to get some shit done there so I have somewhere to live. Um, okay, yeah. but you're not homeless right now, though, right? No, no, no. no. Okay. No, I sleep All in the right. car. All right. Um, I, uh, <laughs> not homeless. <laughs> not homeless. Exactly. I was about to, about to put up the whole GoFundMe. The oh, whole, you got that? Oh, yeah. Oh, I was what? Get you right. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Mean? First men's security dude with the woman. That is true. Trick. All right, we're not going to do that. Now, um, what happened to you, though, bro? Uh, what happened? Yeah, talk about what it. What do you... Um, well, if I look down at your, your footwear... Um, I'm Wearing trying an interesting item. That's right. I'm trying something new. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been watching a lot of Kanye and Okay. His, he got boots, but I want my boot to be bigger. And right. I didn't want to have two boots. Period. That'd have been real spaceman vibes. But um <clears throat> my week uh <laughs> has been um full of me finding balance. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I see that. that you happened. know what I'm saying? Nah, so if you guys can see, I'm over here looking like um ten percent Robocop. I got Jump by three midgets, mm. and uh, that, that might get it canceled. So I was playing basketball, three man. Three small people. Three oh, small yeah, people. Can't say that word no three more. small people. Oh, we can't say the M word, but we yes. can say small people. Smaller people. But I can still say that they jumped me. They definitely did. They okay. Did. They jumped you. Mm-hmm. All right. I kicked two, and then the last one <laughs> held on to my foot. Mm-hmm. Did a judo move. Mm. Mm-hmm. That it's bo- that judo move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they saw the kicking yeah. five year olds and like they're judo. my size. And yeah. Uh, nah, I was playing basketball, so I was hating because I was getting buckets, and they kind of hit my leg and it rolled. But I'll be good. I'll be good by next week, y'all. I'll be yeah. good. Thank you. But my GoFundMe is up for my medical bills. Okay. Okay. Um, well, at least you got insurance. Uh, for the that's first right. time in a long time. Yeah, I'm like, you gotta. You know what I'm You <laughs> gotta have insurance to get a boot, that's right? Gotta, <laughs> <laughs> that's a pro shit. You're like, we got real insurance. Look at me, got real insurance. Look, like, this is mine. I gave him a card. <laughs> this is mine. But that's yeah, it. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't have insurance. <laughs> Hey, everybody, I want you to report to Dame's arm. <laughs> yo, hey, I'm sorry. yo, yo, bro, how long have you had that bandage? Yeah, I mean. No, nah, not that one specifically. I've been changing it. 
I'm crying. Yeah. Yeah. How? Because I know. <laughs> I've been saying, yeah. You. It's, it's been a minute. Yeah, you. Yeah. So how long have you? Ha- what happened again? Because I feel like we forgot. What is the injury? Um, fucking midgets again. Oh. Goddamn midgets. You can't Small say the people, M word. Damn it. it. I'm so sorry. Wow. Gosh darn my it. Bad. Bad. <laughs> they gonna kiss us. It is. Uh, they gonna c- cancellation. get together <laughs> and all press don't like at the same time. Cancellation. From I'm down sorry. there. Hopefully it don't. I'm Yikes. Sorry. I am so sorry. Uh, but yeah, so uh, uh, you good? No, I got jumped. It was good. Yeah. It all was right. a good one. Good, yeah. good fight. Good fight. Good fight. Um, all right, so boom. So we gonna let's let's run right into it. So, um, I'm about, I want I want to talk to you real quick. I'm right? scared. I want to talk to you. First how, topic. First topic. How 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 is first of all we're in Atlanta, Georgia, right? Yeah. yeah. Where you from? I'm from the Bronx, New York. Ew. Ooh. The big Bronx. No 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 no. The big Bronx. No no. So we're he. So he's from Chicago, but he moved to Brooklyn. And once you move to Brooklyn, it's like a requirement to say. Yeah. Respond it, like that. I didn't realize oh, that. Yeah, I yeah. Get it's it. not our fault. I have I no idea. I get it. No, it really is. It's so weird. So I, I said the Bronx, I'm like, oh, maybe like. I, no, no, no. There was like, <laughs> like a, a rivalry of, of no, the sorts. No um, idea why. I don't either. And I am let's, not. Let's I squash it right now. Dirty, yeah, though. no, no. I, it's squashed. I, let's I squash love it right people now. from Brooklyn. We have a great time. I've got a lot of friends in Brooklyn. Yeah. The Brooklyn and Bronx. Rift will end it right ends here, here, right now. Right? Yeah, Let's tie it. the flags. Yeah. We did it. Okay. okay. I'm with it. We, we did it. Let's shake hands. I'm with it. I don't know. You from Bronx. Uh, I got you. I got you. I ain't going to do you like that. I ain't going to do that. He from Chicago nah, anyway. You know, it's, I'm from it's, Chicago. I'm they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, don't they, don't, they don't squash beef with I anybody. Guess, nah, I guess it was. Mm, okay. Um, so, boom. Sips so drink. So, <laughs> so, we are in Atlanta, Georgia currently. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How is from... You know, you're obviously an attractive woman. Thank How you. is the dating life? How is your dating life in this <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia? How is that going? How is that? Dating life in Atlanta, Georgia is not um, conclusive. Um, it's, inconclusive. It's, it's inconclusive. Okay. Um, <laughs> we need the facts. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. It's crazy. Tory I've been, I've been DNA on here test. for about three years, and I have not dated one guy. Oh, from wow. here like anyone that i've dated in the time that i've been out here in mm-hmm. atl has been from new york really or oh. another city yeah did, did you meet them here and they're from new york or you already knew them i've already known them and oh, they, wow. they're either coming out here for me or oh. yeah Y'all like that that kind of thing yeah ooh, but ooh, otherwise you i mean i've flight? tried am i paying for I'm the flight <laughs> Woo! So let me ask. So, hey, so yet. I'm trying to get anything. So let me like, ask you a question. I got. A, I got a question. I got a question, and we're all gonna just. This is gonna be our first topic that we're about to cover. We're gonna discuss. I am it. not paying for the flight, by the way. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I'm not paying for no man. So let me no ask you. Big big man. Me not pay for no big man flights. So how how small does he have to be for you to pay for? It? <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> small person. Small <laughs> persons. Small persons. The M word. The people that fucked up Lamar. You pay for that so, flight. Me will pay so, for that flight. I said they get two in the seat. So you. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Uh, um, so my question is, yes. my question for you is, all right, so boom. Mm-hmm. And it's really for everybody. What I realize so is that. So is the question for me or for everybody? <laughs> <laughs> he did just give it to you and everybody else. <laughs> Can it be for you first? All right. Let yeah. it be for me. I'm ready for it. <laughs> give me give me it. Do you ever shoot your shot? I absolutely shoot my shot. Yeah. Mm. I am absolutely that kind of woman. Okay. So the question is like, you know, I what I realized, I don't I don't I, I feel like women don't really shoot their shot. Yeah. Right? The way they should. I feel like, you know, many times I see women they they have a plethora of options, but they they choose from whatever chooses them. And mm. and I think that women don't necessarily pick go after what they want. They pick from the selection that chooses them. And then sometimes women are upset that, you know, <laughs> certain kind of men aren't choosing me or, you know. Mm. So so what would you, how, how do you feel about that? Like, do you, you know, do you advise your friends to shoot their shot? Or what does even shooting your shot look like? So I go after everything that I want. That's, like, in my nature. I go after everything that I want. Um, I would probably advise my friends to shoot their shot but I can't dictate how they feel confidently or not confidently Mm -hmm. about you know going after what they want I go after what I want all the time 
Do you um, think that uh, yeah, you're successful in that? Like, like I've had. Yeah. It's crazy because like even okay, people say that I'm attractive, right? I obviously I'm very like I don't want to say I'm full of myself because that's a little that's like mm, that's not really cute. I don't right. want to be vain, but right. I value myself very highly. I understand my worth. I think I'm beautiful. Um, and I've still gotten, I wouldn't say turned down, but I You've have been turned down. I don't, I would, I don't want to say turned down, but I have had guys that I went after want to take it slow with me mm. because of my approach. And That's just like, That's yeah. How do you, how do you, what, what do you think about that? Like, what do you, do you, do you think that they're doing that so they can get to know you better or I don't know if I I don't know if I come on too strong to certain guys that it might scare them. What does that what does that look like though? What does it look like for a woman to come on strong? I hate that question. I you do that with everything. What does it look like? What does it look, what like? Does it look what, like? What are you right? asking me? What exactly? <laughs> seven <laughs> questions in one. It definitely it is like? seven <laughs> questions in one. Um <laughs> Okay, what coming on too strong probably looks like is um, the compliment game or outwardly expressing that a man looks good and how much I appreciate how handsome he is. Mm. Yeah, like, I'm really one of those, like, wow, like, you're really handsome, like... That's amazing, dudes, because we, we don't get compliments. At no, no, all. no. Oh, my gosh. I love complimenting him. I like seeing men squirm and, like, I love we'll seeing men be flushed. Different. I love Different it. Words. You trying to de- de- That's it? crazy. You trying to demasculate, <laughs> demas- demasculate men? No, I nah, love nah, seeing nah, nah, men, nah. like, not know what to say. Yeah, because. Well, so they're so taken aback. Speechless. The yeah, way that men you. make women. Right, yeah. I like being the one, and, and that kind of shows my dominance as a woman, but I'm I trying to kind of sit I, back. I appreciate hearing that. Cause, Do you? Yeah, no. Cause, awesome. No, women, men don't get compliments, man. Um, At all. Like, I even, love, even let me us. Say I love men. Mm. And you know what's crazy? <laughs> even us as men, we backwards compliment each other. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You think you slick in the damn shirt. Uh, oh, yeah, snap. My boy got new shoes. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. I hey, love bro, that, though. Them shoes is white, but I ain't never seen them shoes before. Period. You know what I'm saying? But those shoes is white, though. I they love when men are able to lovingly communicate with each other without, like, having to make it a weird thing. Yeah. Like a A-O kind of mm-hmm. shit. I don't like that. Nah, can, so- we can't, can we curse? No, no cursing. I meant, That's some oh, snap. What the fuck? We not allowed to fuck curse today? <laughs> fucking cuss on this goddamn show. Damn. Fuck so on this you're show? literally. No, so, so wait. Yeah. So there's one. Can she say it? No. What can I oh, say? Okay. Oh, we didn't explain that rule. Okay, so you uh, can't the rule? say, hey, she is a woman. I am a woman. Right. Thank you for not calling me but a it's female. Like, it's like saying a black person can't say. No, that's the funny thing. On a oh, we just can't say the N-word. As no, 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 you I can't just say said the nigga. B-word. You can't B-I-H. say B. You just said it. And if you say it, you got to take a shot. And you don't want that. You got to take, take a shot. No, 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 no. Not a shot. A raw shot. No, I Jason. Can, all right, take the, the nasty f- shit. I'll take a fuck out the shot. All right, well, okay. she... You pass well, me a cup, then? We're going to have fun tonight. She'll be sleeping here tonight. <laughs> but no, every time you say the B-word, you will yeah. be... You, you'll be I ain't say the B-word. I said B-Och. Yes, that's, that's yes. That's why I said And so here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, no, so here's the thing. No more of that. Right. that. That is considered as well. Profane. And I, you know what? And just for the sake of it, because I'll explain it again and why this is, people. This show started in a bedroom with a whole bunch of drunk niggas. So what happened was... I was a whole bunch of men in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because we was broken. It was 16 of us living yes. in the house. You, know? well, yes, you guys was... are all drunk together? Yeah. Sheesh. All the time. I, yeah. wasn't, I wasn't there. I just wanted to put that yeah, up. He was just there when we started the show. Yeah, and then I left because it got weird. <laughs> well, I'm here now. <laughs> no, but so what would happen is welcome. We, it was a drink, kind of like a drinking show. We would yeah. drink and talk shit, but then it would get so belligerent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And everything is beep, beep, beep. You know, okay. you, 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 yeah, what, yeah, so yeah. what did you get our, to talk about our women? Our women fan base was like, yo, y'all just bought like disrespect. You know, it just gets yeah, too much. Yeah, and it was getting a little bit too So much. we was like, all right, cool. Boom. You say the word, you got to take a shot. Or it used to be a get out. You get three get outs, you got to get your ass out. Okay. That was just weird, though, because if you were a guest. I actually like that story. Yeah. Like, I like that it came from somewhere oh, it did. And, positive. And, and low-key, it taught well, us. Well, negative to a positive. It taught us how to speak on some crazy shit. Like, yeah. I don't even use the word. 
What? That's awesome. I don't. Darn. I, and when what I say you mean it, I what? Feel, no, wait, wait, wait. And when I use it, I, I feel dirty. You feel dirty? I love that. I love what? that you I feel like, dirty. I'll say it and it'd be like, oh, God. It's Listen, a dirty like, word. Uh, it's definitely if y'all remember a dirty my, word. If y'all remember my first five episodes. Oh, it was terrible. Right? Listen, I took like three shots an episode. Mm-hmm. Once we click these cameras off. What? I... I am shocked. Nickelodeon, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just shocked. Going that's crazy. Where, that's where it came from, man. This now, is a shocking. So con- here's con- here's what I think. Like, so what I realized when something is ingrained mm. into your vocab, yeah. it's kind of difficult to switch it up. Yeah. And Why was that so ingrained in your vocabulary? Well, number one, I'm oh, I'm from I'm from Brooklyn, New York, right? So, for example, <sighs> the the N word, right, nigga. That is literally a part of our vocabulary. A part. Yeah. No, yeah. it is. It Extra is. hot command. <laughs> no. A part. You know what I'm saying? That's a with, part of the vocab. That like, came with white sauce. And, like, <laughs> that came with white sauce. And, and a little bit of yum yum. Yeah, you know a little bit of yum yum. Like, literally, that's a part of the vocab, and no one feels any type of way. Yeah. And then when you're talk, telling a story and you're yeah. referring to, you know, Sorry. women, I don't, we're not trying to disrespect. No, it's, it's just like that's, saying it's just N-word. like a noun. It's just like another noun. It is. Yeah. I'm saying I've never said nigga so much to having to learn how to communicate with New York. Right, 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 right. Like nah, I, facts. I mean, we say it, you know, no, in Chicago, listen. but yeah. I've never had to just be like nigga, nigga, nigga. No, New York is put <laughs> the, <laughs> just like the Joe Rogan shit. Like yeah, nigga, 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 nigga. nigga, nigga. nigga. What you say, I was nigga? walking around like, with some niggers. <laughs> yeah, all of that it, is fucking because we don't talk like that everywhere, you know. So I had to learn because when I first came to New York, I couldn't communicate with people. Yeah, like I'd be in the room, like well, I think. <laughs> what? I'll wait. So right. then I, I learned to say nigga. So what it is? And they're like, oh, oh, okay, cool. I'm normal now and shit. Mm-hmm. Yo, uh, listen. After every <laughs> after every sentence, like this is a boom. I remember I told the story. Yeah, yeah. Boom, shit. Sorry, go ahead. Whatever. I told the story. I was like, when I realized we said it every time, I told the story in 12th grade. I was like, yo, this is a story, right? Yeah. All right. So boom. Me and my <laughs> niggas was walking down the street. We saw these other niggas across the street acting crazy, and I'm right. like, yo, nigga, who the fuck? Yeah. Who right. these niggas think they? <laughs> so. This one nigga was acting like weird, moving around with his mans, and he was looking at me type weird. I'm like, yo, nigga, who you looking at? Like, he's like, nigga, you. I'm like, nigga, what? <laughs> so his other mans was getting crazy, and they started waving at some other niggas across the street. And now it's like 40 niggas <laughs> out of nowhere. And I'm like, yo. That's a real story. I'm like, yo, yo, yeah, bro, yo, yo, my boy, yo, these niggas look serious, <laughs> right? And they don't look like no pussy ass niggas. Like, they look like they really, two of them had big puffy Eight ball jacket, so oh, I knew man. niggas from old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a New York story. Yeah, hell yeah. I used nigga thirty times, right. and it felt. Did Natural. it feel out of place? No, it was and perfect. It meant cool. Different things each time. Every single time. <laughs> said, nigga, what? That's completely different than these niggas. Yeah, that's complete. <laughs> these niggas and yes, niggas, what? yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. To a New Yorker, that shit is like. Too, yeah, that's it's exactly too totally what we want to hear. If the story doesn't sound like that, we don't want to hear it. Yo, me. All right, so quick segue. Period. Could we talk about? Um, why why is it do you guys what I realize? <laughs> what is the question? <laughs> that happens hey, listen. This is me. This is me learning. Hey, hey, this is Nigga me what? Me, okay. Yes, honey. Do you guys ahead. realize that um it's okay? Like in New York, we make it okay for everyone for the most part, except for white people mm. to Ooh, say nigga. Not white people. No, but I, you know what? I heard the, um, <laughs> I, just the other day, just speaking on that. Especially Spanish okay. people. Um, they say too, okay. Nah. Hold on, excuse me. You said we make it okay for everyone to say nigga except for. So right. in, in, so here's the thing. Being in the South, yeah. right? Yes, yes, yes. What, yes. people? <laughs> what? 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 Yo, yo, I like when people put YT on the internet. I'll be like, I wow, that's crazy. Yo. Yeah, because what is it? I've like, seen it so many it's different ways, bro. I love, I like, it. So I love it. So in New York, yes. what I realized before <laughs> moving to Atlanta, right, nigga, was not necessarily a racial thing. No. Yeah. It was a cultural thing. And it's also hip hop. And New York is hip hop. Cultural thing. Yeah. Right? Right, yeah. right, right. But Definitely. it is still It's like if you rap, you say nigga. It's still <laughs> yeah. uncomfortable to see a white person say like that's where it's like a red flag. I feel like it's a red flag everywhere. Yeah. If, yeah. But, but I feel uncomfortable with Spanish people though. Because they over nigga the nigga. Like it's like y'all I just, definitely feel uncomfortable. It's bad though. Yeah. Like it like it don't make sense. It's like they say Agreed. nigga, nigga, like that nigga, nigga, nigga. But I've nigga, literally nigga, nigga. seen, like, bro, I have seen white people communicate with one another by saying nigga. They say that though. Yeah. Like they, to each other, to each other, they'd be like, yo, nigga. 
I'd be yeah. like, I've seen videos. Just go on World Star and ty- type in white that's people actually, in fights. World Star that's is actually wicked. interesting. World star Hit that fights. Nigga. World star white fights. You're gonna see white people saying nigga to their white counterparts. So okay, I never so thought to look that up. <laughs> no, no, because no, I'm gonna tell you, I'm 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 almost in. A, I, I don't, yo. I hate that I'm a, <laughs> there it goes. The, the I not I, getting to the point. No, I just I hate that I think like I think sometimes <laughs> because I hate that white people say it. Yeah. But I feel like oh, if no, you're oh. speaking hip hop and oh. you're not, but you're not like pandering. <clears throat> Some people just speak a certain way. Are we thinking of like Eminem? No, Eminem never no, said the N word. Not Eminem. Oh, he did. We, yeah, he did. He's never said the N word. He, he said nigga. Yeah, not in the song. Well, it was in the song. Yeah, yeah. He was talking shit about everybody though. But yeah, a long time ago, way before. Yeah, right. they, they they brought the old tapes up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Fuck oh, it. Jesus. Everybody like you cool. <laughs> but um, so, and it's only because I've seen some white people who grow up with black people. Right? Yes. Like I've seen that before. We call this nigga so much. He don't. This nigga, right. He a nigga too. Like he don't, There's Nobody, no communication mm-hmm. where it's different. But yeah. why I fuck with white people, or I'm sorry, why I don't fuck with white people is that they know how and when to not say it. Right? It's like how you know how not to cuss in front of your mama. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could be on the phone, motherfucker. I mean, mama. I, you yeah. know. Yeah. That's like the B you word with men. You clean it up. So you know quick. what you're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And and that's the part that bothers me. But I do understand a hip hop white dude. So, so that's why, like, I'm like, ah. So here, here's, here's my thing, right? So remember, as I said, yeah. New York, the Ox, right? Mm-hmm. Pe- Middle Eastern people, um, Spanish people, 1,000%, Spanish. right? Shout out to Fat Joe and Cardi B going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, every race, mm, I didn't really see that many Asians. Uh, what is it? Well, I didn't. Wait, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The I didn't see. I didn't see Asians. <laughs> we're not gonna do that. <laughs> I didn't really. We didn't see Asians living Ooh. among us. We just saw Asians, yeah. like like that own stuff around us. But they didn't live among us. If that makes sense, they yeah. wasn't hanging out. So every race, like except for white people, uh, yeah. But they yeah. wasn't. Uh, I get it. They weren't saying they every race. So it was a cultural thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now moving down here, I realized that you know. Only black people out here or darker skin Spanish people are, are more comfortable to say it because it's not really people don't really let it rock. But the word okay, yes. You know what I'm saying? The but word the word oh go ahead. You want no, to and I'm just saying so here's the thing with white people. Because it's such a debatable thing, yeah, it it's a triggering word when it comes from a particular source. It's the yeah. same thing as the B word. Like, I know for a fact, anytime I'm talking about, if I'm upset and I'm talking about any woman I'm dating to my guys, I'm using it. She is that word, Mm -hmm. right? I can't. I'm, listen, yo, this is wildin'. This B word is tripping. I don't know why this. What makes you want to say that word in particular? Matter of fact, that's a conversation that we could have after this. But as far Mm -hmm. as the um, term, like the N word, I am not uncomfortable with people saying it, and I don't know. It's according to who it is. Yeah, it and, just depends and, and, on the context a, and what's going on. Context, like, I am not offended just because of the fact mm-hmm. that, like, if, even if white people say it? it, I personally okay. And this is this is real rap. I will not ever respect a white person saying the n word. It just it doesn't make sense. It doesn't need to be said. I thought you just said that. For the other, because remember you were talking about the oh, other, and, and the other race, because the other races are in between okay. that are also minority based, mm-hmm. like have also suffered oppression, also have gone through some heinous, heinous stuff, you know. Got you. Um, but I mean, I feel like I really, I want to ask this question. So my, heinous. I were heinous. Damn it, that word got. To, I was like heinous. I right? was like, I don't say that word. Right, so right, I right. right. In my head, like heinous. I, I, it came I, I, out. I didn't, of, I didn't know y'all it came out of that. nowhere. I don't I know where like, it came from. Like, it was like, like don't use. all right. I don't know. I, the sidebar. I don't know if this happens to you guys. Do words ever just float around and you grab one? Yeah. That's exactly what I did. Words were floating That's around while I was it talking. It depends if I was I thinking about it. if I was thinking about TI at any point that day. Goodbye. No, but at any point that day <laughs> if TI came up. I got a, a shitty reference. I was talking to my sister and yeah. for some reason I was like, "Yeah, so oh girl and uh, she had a twat." <laughs> 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 I, nigga, I was like, did I just say no, twat? Show you got a what? <laughs> yeah, like just, she got a twat? Yo, no, no, nah, nah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need our soundboard back, bro. Wait, 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 That's wait, a wah, wah, wah. No, and I 
I said, said it. And, and, and what, you sister, did, what you did? What you? What were you doing know, to her twat? My sister jerked like me, so she looked at me like. Oh, I, I like, thought he was jerking her twat. I was just like, <laughs> not jerking. I said twat. Wow, I've never said it, and I was like, man, that's twat crazy. It's a word it. I've never used. So yeah, it was weird. Wow. It's weird. You pulled that shit out of nowhere. Pulled that twat out of nowhere, nigga. That twat. <laughs> That's why it came with me, boy. That's right. what was in your hands. Um, so, hey, folks. Yo, bro. All right. So, so to conclude the nigga conversation, um, the reason why I feel I feel uh, kind of some type of way when um, white why people say Why do they have it, to say it, though? Like, what would be I, the reason? Exactly. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. It's too, answer. certain things is too debatable. Can you? Right? Can you answer? Sir, wait, wait, wait. You're, what, what, what question are you answering? Her question. Why, why would white say people it? say it? Go ahead. Yeah. All right. It's two reasons. Not these niggers, but why would they just say nigga? Because I just heard. I just I wanted to say this earlier, but like I said, we we you know we get on topics and we be trying to move on, but nigga. No, we, we gonna move, we gonna, I'm gonna get back in a second. Yeah. I got a, I got a timer. All right. <laughs> um, I heard Pat- uh, late Patrice O'Neill, hilarious comedian. If you never heard him, mm-hmm. like an underground. I was listening to him earlier today. Actually, um, Patrice out. O'Neill. He he just said. I mean, I've heard this said before, but he I just happened to be watching it. He was like. Um, on some shit with all these white comedians in the circle and have, talking and, and, and I think Roseanne, you know Roseanne, yeah. mm-hmm. asked him, what, what, is it, what, what is it that white people can't say that word? And it was, it was all in conversation. And he was like, you know why y'all niggas can't say this word? <laughs> he was like, because it's the only thing that we took back. He was like, we took that word. We said that this is our shit. And he was like, the only thing that black people in America can do that nobody else can do is we can say whatever the fuck we want to, period. He was like, and that's, what, that's part of what we took. Yep. Y'all got anything else? And what mm-hmm. bothers white people is that they know they can't say it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, white people don't understand can't. Mm. That's Do really you understand? Deep. Say, yeah. say, say the word. What's the word? You know what I'm saying? Privilege. Yeah, yeah. But they don't understand. Oh, you can't. That's oh, I deep. can't. That's deep. That's what the Karens is. That's what. Oh, no, I'm going to get you. No, no you're mm. not. You're not going to take this word. Why did that hit me so? But I'm just that saying that struck a nerve. So <laughs> that's real. But that's that's really the answer. And they just they, uh Gary Owen had the joke, too. Gary Owen. That's it, good. Gary Owen was like, white people are like, we can't see it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, why do you need to say it? So why so, do you need to I say just, it? I just <laughs> thought about. Um, and it's a, and it, it anno- you know, it's, it, it, it bothers them. Cause yeah. They can take mm-hmm. anything else, but can't take that. I just thought about, like. So what I realized, here's why I think that they, at this point, why they want to say it so bad. Um, black people is not no longer hip hop culture. We are the culture. culture. Our yeah. culture, our yeah. day-to-day, our normal is the culture. Yeah. and yeah, Or the culture has remnants of us. And... Mm. They want to say it so bad for two reasons. Number one, to be cool, cool. or to oh, be, yeah. it's the cool thing to do. Everyone, what? It's in every rap song I hear. Why? Because all of our rap artists are black. Or all of our rap but artists, you, put that up there. You know, that's why we did it, though. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. Hold on, before we get there, because yeah. that's, another, that's another argument. <laughs> right. So, boom. It's a part of the culture. They want to be cool. But another thing is, they know how we feel. So it's a it's a it is a it goes back to the privilege of if these people around me are comfortable with me saying this I feel higher right I feel more exalted we, 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 as a yeah, white person yeah. I got my black card we, we, we crown them my Woo. my these are my niggas around mm-hmm. and they're cool with me saying this mm-hmm. but some of y'all white that's people out there say, might not be okay that's what they yeah call. that's what they say oh 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 my friends told me I could say it it's like if we ain't your friends bro. At all, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That shit but, is not rocking. I just want to say real quick, and then we gotta move on. Guys. Yeah. Um, that was why hip hop is so important. Niggas always wants to move on. Um, I do, but <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no, but that's why it was important for us to get in front of white people's face and say, "Yeah, nigga." And what you gonna do song. about it? Right. right. Put it in the songs. I'm the biggest artist saying words you can't say. They're like, this is, I don't know. I just want to say it. Like, say that I, shit. Say that that's shit. What they, right. That's what hip-hop was. Exactly. Hip-hop was a big fuck you and nigga in your face. Mm, and I'm going to be rich and do it the way I want to do it. I'm going to be ignorant. I'm going to be loud. Yep. I'm going to be <laughs> Jamaican. Mm, mm. I know what I did there. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's mad That's the point. I, know, it's mad. I feel like that's racist. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> racist. But that's the point. The point is, fuck you, bro. Fuck you. I got Ooh, you. Like my song, this is heated, and you can't say it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I think, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move on. Um, 
so that was good. That was good. It was. So it what was. we really want to touch on is something that you know what we're gonna segue to. It it's kind of wild to me okay. when it comes to uh, Leah. What's her name? Or oh, be respectful, Lamar. Yes, yes. We're Leah be Thompson. Leah Thomas. Thompson. Leah Thomas. Leah Thomas. Okay. Right. You uh you want to run the story down? Or you want me to run it down? Which story is this? Um, this is the swimmer I'm transgender. This is the transgender got you, got you, got you. swimmer. Um, I don't okay. know. The, that's the, um her name. Leah Thomas. Yeah, Leah Thompson. I believe Thompson. that her Thompson. name was Williams before. I got name Adam William. Martin. Ooh, Martin. Whatever. It had Liam. It had Leah in. There we go. Uh, being racist. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. They don't really watch the show anyway. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's all right. They got they got Joey Joe He's Rogan really swimming. All right, oh. so. Bam. So my man's as a man. What what was the number? Four hundred. So he was uh so uh <laughs> Leah Leah Thomas when before his or transition. her transition. Like why are you right here? Um <laughs> I thought it was Jason. Jason, well, I don't know. They both were they they fused <laughs> like like Goku hey, Goku man. and Vegeta. Hey. Um it's a wild before, world. <laughs> we in Atlanta, before his <laughs> before his transition Jesus. right? Um he was a, still a swimmer. He placed, I believe, he placed four hundred and sixty-eight. Oh, right. He was four hundred and sixty-eight in the NCAA mm. world or something yeah, like that. That means it's four hundred and sixty-seven people that can swim better than you. Right. Yeah. So he placed four hundred and sixty-eight. Now he's a man. Yeah. It's, he's going against other men. Right. Other people who are built in with his of course. likeness. Genetic makeup. Right. Yeah. Then he goes ahead and does his transition, and now he wins. Number one, right? He was as number a one. woman, as a Miss woman. Leah Thomas. And dog, Thompson he's like Thomas. six, seven. Like he, when whoa, they showed whoa, the whoa, other whoa, women, whoa, whoa, whoa. she, she, let's, got we're gonna be okay. She, I don't agree with this, but we're gonna be respectful. All no, right, I, no, 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 I respect people. All right, so Leah, girl, is a problem. Leah, girl, you find <laughs> you find as hell with them shoulders. Hey, so Leah is how how tall? Tall LeBron height, yeah, like it's a tall. Imagine yeah. LeBron yeah. in the pool. You know what I'm saying? And and you know what we uh, we did we did have this uh, conversation mm. before, but and um because I, I honestly I respect transgender people if you feel like this absolutely is, if you feel like this is what you are and you want to make yourself be by what you all be, means we have no you. input. I can't, I can't yeah, but when you start overstepping with like like if LeBron decided that he wanted to be a woman today and plays for the, the WNBA, it's like my man, you are six eight. You know what I'm saying? Like no, like that's it's just it's genetically unfair. you can do way more damage than any woman can on the court, and it's, it's unfair. It's, so, it's so not about talent. It's not that's not talent. It's at not all. about talent. It's literally about genetic makeup and mm-hmm. physique at that yeah. point. And you think about you know how I feel. How do you feel? All the wi- like think about all the women who worked so hard right yeah. to be better than That's all these other about. women and they're like yo all my life i've been competing against women after women I was just to have to compete one. against a man and now i have to compete against a man a transgender excuse me a transgender we person who was up. you see how hard this is to even talk about yeah. it's it's so it, it, it's we're in the new age of you know um we do have to be politically correct with certain right. things to not, not to cancel honestly we don't give a fuck about being canceled and be very we're, honest with y'all we're y'all just now. suck my dick but we're just trying to be <laughs> we're just trying to be respectful. Yeah. With purpose. Be respectful. Cuz I purposely I want to be respectful to Absolutely. Shorty, but I don't Tolly? I don't really the the, the gentlewoman. I don't really the gentlewoman. Right? That I I'm, I can be respectful That's and not and still make jokes. But here's what I think about it, right? Yeah. Shorty oh, Yeah, Shorty, my bad. I, I thought I'll be rude to the this is hard. On a guy, shorty. I was like, oh god. I think it's ridiculous, actually. It's ridiculous. What do you What do you think? Go ahead. I I just feel like there is it's just ethics. Like you just have to think about what is the right thing to do, and I feel like that is not the right thing. And I think that everyone knows it. Mm-hmm. Governmentally, everyone knows it. Politically, everyone knows that. Obviously, what a man can do, and that's not to say like a man and a woman cannot achieve success in mm-hmm. their lanes. It's to say that we're not gonna put we're not gonna pit this man who is genetically a man with the skills, the talents, the weight, the brain of a man against these women. Where our bodies are completely different, his mm-hmm. he, what he's able to do and his power is completely different. 
than what a woman's power can do, which is why we have men's sports and we have women's sports. Mm-hmm. Just not only, and Dame? Not only is... Um, it's interesting that it's even a thing. was he a man, Yeah, he's a white man. You can't tell white men no. Mm. Oh! Here you go, striking nerves. Oh! Oh! You just, the nerves. They don't me. understand. My nerves. No, you can't. <sighs> My nerves. And honestly, that's the, the um, I don't, uh, let's keep, I don't, that's the Dave Chappelle beef. That, yeah. That's the, the thing that Dave yeah. Chappelle is getting in trouble for. Because he was like, at first, I was fighting white people. Mm-hmm. But now you put on a dress and now I'm sexist. It's like, yo, like what? It's too much. This is comedy. You know what I'm like, saying? let's been, calm down. You've been my enemy or whatever. Yes. Oh, you know, but now you're a woman, so uh. I'm disrespecting Transgender? Wow, bro. Or sis, you know. You know and it's like, like I have to think too hard to in order to not offend. Yeah, it's a that, lot. That shit is wild, man. Um, I think, I think some people go out their way to be extra sensitive. I do think. Yes. I do think we can fix That's it. That's what it is. I think. How um, can we fix it? Um, because I haven't thought about that. I'm one of the only people. Well, not who. Well, I'm one of the only people who agree with the third bathroom. Oh, I was just about to. Um, I absolutely yeah. agree with the third I think, bathroom. So I do. I do believe. I absolutely agree. Four, with the I think it should be a fourth. I think there should be a fourth. So here's what I'm saying. So I was, I was, I think that if, if your passion is to play, yo, play. I think we're getting to a point where there's multiple people. You're not by yourself anymore. There's right. a whole movement of other people who are transgender. Right. There's, so understand that when you, when you make that transition, we need to get to a point where you can, you can say, I'm not fully a woman. I'm now something different. And you're not, we're not, we're, we're still accepting you. It's what you want to do. Yes. But you're not fully a woman. Yes. You cannot bear children. That's not yes. something that nature no has matter gifted you with. No what you scientists have developed as far as artificial wombs, you are still not right. biologically a woman. Let's right. talk about and it. And we're being respectful. But here's respectfully, the thing. Respectfully. Like, it comes this is to no the, beef, no shade. Respectfully, this is facts. When it comes to people and their emotions, especially nowadays in America, where everyone feels like they're entitled, everyone gets super mm. duper sensitive because they, not because they are really hurt, because they just disagree. Yeah. Don't be super duper sensitive with me just because yeah. you disagree because you feel like you are said thing just because you said it or just because you did something. You're So... But here's the thing, it's not a bad it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. I think yeah. that what we do as a community as as people, we create spaces so other people who identify with such thing can feel safe, right? For something real simple, right? I feel like there are more Caribbean clubs or wherever in different parts of the U.S. because people of the Caribbean who live there want to go to Caribbean places. So they make a Caribbean club, yeah. say, hey, or make a hip-hop club, say, hey, those of you who like this, who identify this is your right. music, you can come here. I agree. So if you are a person who trans transitions from a man to a woman, you should now be in your own league. Right. You Absolutely. are no longer able to play with the men. You are no longer That's able it. to play with the women. Yo, you I are able to play with other trans agreed. people and then up? be the yeah, king or queen up. of that trans situation. All right, let me so understand yes, that we all have to have the so. tough conversations, right? Where both sides have to come to a, like, if you just let someone just keep pushing their politics, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Then their side is always going to be the right side. But politics means that, you know, we're both yeah, coming yeah. to a consensus. So, so Absolutely. I think that... Both sides, you know what I'm saying, should come to a consensus and understand yeah. that this is not right. Right. And it, it, it's it's not right. It don't make no goddamn sense. It makes absolutely sense. It don't make no sense. goddamn sense. And it's and it's fucking creepy. You know what I'm saying? It's creepy. Why uh, is it oh even shit, a thing in the first creepy. place? Well I'm saying oh, well well <laughs> No, but um, why is it a thing in the can, first we, place? Um you know me, bro. I'm, I'm always like, we can get to the next topic. But uh with the bat just with the mm. bathroom it separates it, um, and it just makes it because what I don't want I don't want a, a man fifty years old. 60 years old that transitions to a woman and now he's in the bathroom with the 14 year old girl now the thing about because it is that you know, those situations are super dangerous it's, there's a it, lot of danger involved in it's having scary. so even as simple as the guy uh the swim guy he's now in the feet in, in the in the in the woman locker room he's now right. changing with all the women and it's and 
you and though it's safe for him, it might be safe for that situation. It's not safe for a lot of other situations. Or just, yeah, just in general. Right. It's like, you was a dude your whole life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And now you're just sitting with all these these, these, these athletes, naked women. It's, it's, you know, it's like, I it have gets a sketchy. question. It gets, it gets sketchy. I wonder, like, and this is to trans, like the transgender family, like, is that ever a thought in their minds as to is this, does this make sense? Not even is this correct. Does this make sense? I, oh man, we was trying to the get... The family? We was trying to get... I want to say the transgender family because I What am, do you mean by the trans... The people around the transgender person or... No, 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 just the like... The transgender like, community. The transgender community. Okay, Maybe that. for... That's a better word. That's a better word. The transgender I, honestly, community. I've been trying to... We was trying to get... Um, We've been trying to get a transgender person on the show. Hey, Flame Monroe. Flame Monroe. Bro, if you ever... It. See this? Yo. If you ever want to come on Willow Wednesdays, Flame Monroe, I will openly uh, welcome, rub your titties, Flame Monroe, and whatever. Then, um, Black Ink had a, a, a girl. A, Whoever else could know. come, but Flame? Else? We was we was close. A transgender situation? Yeah, we was close. Flame so Monroe just, is uh, that nigga. Uh, the person that seen the show and was like, we're going to do or, it, but you know, the schedules didn't woman. mix up. Yeah. yeah. The schedules didn't uh, match, match up or whatever. I flame mean, was going to come through? Not Flame, not Flame. At the point uh, that the person, that does yeah. happen, then those will be questions that are asked. This is shit I want to ask, man. There's no reason, there's no point in talking uh, about it if yeah, we can't I, get the I, answer. I, 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 Just out of curiosity. So there's a, there's a, oh, this might, this might get into the, um, the, the gay situation, um, oh not God. situation, but the, 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 the mindset. I'm going to just say this once and yeah. it'll be interpreted as interpreted. 2,000 years ago or mm, whatever. 2,000? Where are you going with that? <laughs> yeah. 1,000 years. You're talking wrong. Like, yeah. I just like, know, listen, 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 listen. started at a point. It's yeah. okay, it's okay. He started hey, at hey, a point. Hey, 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 look, look, look. <laughs> like, were Remember you last, there? Last week, last week, I'm going to build this hill and I'm going to die solo, okay? Mm-hmm. I can't wait for him to get my comments. So, Jesus. A, yes, only within the past 100 years have we had the technology to wear, um, Certain things that are technically <laughs> unnatural okay. can you just saying words. flourish. Like, huh? He's, he's, he's doing the thing where he picks the words. Yeah, he's you, stopping at you a certain point. It. Ooh, okay. God bless That's you. Sniffles, I told right? these niggas to stop sneezing and coughing around me. So Woo, a while bad, ago, bad a lot of things weren't were unnatural, right? Yeah. And a lot of the dynamics that we see today, um, where people are living in their truth Mm -hmm. they're able to have a wonderful families um with same-sex parents um because of science which i'm happy to see people happy i'm happy to see people who are of conscious mind and they understand the situation and they raise that child um very aware but still comfortable you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. but technically a lot of these situations are unnatural and they're they are biologically they are only possible because of science now when you yeah i'm just saying like so when it comes to this like when it comes to you know people playing sports and things of that nature and we're competing on physical levels not just music where technically everyone's on the same level everyone can do the same things musically say that to two people that do music bro huh just keep what do you mean just keep going I could judge both of you based on what song I like better. But can I not? So, no. No. If you make a song and you make a song, is it the same the, song? Like if the you same make variation? a song with the variation? same, um, with the same, get to your point. of the same give, genre. Give me your point, I can't judge both songs. You're talking to people that do music, it's no. a different thing. Just, seriously, go to your point, please. And we'll talk about this. <laughs> it's like next I want like, this is off. Yeah, come on. Go ahead. I'm serious. But definitely. You see how we both was like, ah. The shit ain't. Shit, whatever, whatever. Y'all get what I'm saying? The shit ain't. I want to really talk about this. I know. Man. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Say what you're saying. I was listening to you. Now, nah, fuck that point. So, hold up. Y'all telling me that <laughs> men and women awards where it's the best one person isn't fair? Like, not best woman, Ooh, not bring, best bring man. Okay. So not best female I see where artist. You're going with not this. best female R&B artist. Not best you're male R&B best artist. R&B or not song. best female rapper. Not best, best, best R&B song. Best R&B song. Best R&B artist. That's not. You can definitely you can't choose judge that? the best R&B song, but that wasn't the context. That's what I'm saying. In a competition, in a genre. That's why I said same genre. Yeah. In a competition of you where can men and women can do the same thing. Yes, you can absolutely can I do judge that? an R&B song. Okay, got you. Can yeah. you compare two rappers of of 
Can I compare Nikki to another Lamar member? Lamar just didn't come off like that. It didn't come off like okay, that. Cool, good, but good. Lamar often. No, that's good. That's good. Lamar that's good. often doesn't come off. But now I get what you're off. saying. It's okay, yeah. yeah. I, I, I work, work my whole life it's of the trying word. to translate. It's, you you yes. had cons- you had you had compared skill levels. I mean, as an artist, we'd be like, "This motherfucker can't sing." Right? Fuck you, mean even. Right? Fuck you, mean equal. Mm-hmm. Fuck if you like the song, the exactly. motherfucker can't sing. Exactly. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Cool. So I got it, but that's why. But that's not. But true. there's but, a lot but, of but, anger behind it too. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. He's lost. No, a no, lot no. Of I, mean, I mean it too. I feel. I feel it. So basically, <laughs> we're we're agreeing that there are competitions where men and women can be. Compared and go against each other. Yeah. Most and definitely, it is acceptable because you guys even have the if same it was a men and women's relay race. If it is an what inclusion the- where it's men and women, it's different. If it's a solely if it's a solely woman based sport, you mm-hmm. cannot invite mm-hmm. right. a person transitioning yeah. into uh yes. where it is right. that is unfair. That's, That's true. the part no, that no. is that, unfair. That, and, that, and that she hit it right on the. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you. I'm with well, you. All you I saw, me? 15 second clip. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Fuck God damn it. <laughs> all right, well, look. Darn that's right. TikTokable. We're moving on. That is TikTokable. Uh, and that's so, on that. Period. So, what we're going to talk about is some. Don't hero- cough over here. And this huh? is the last time I'm going to say it. It's well, that vodka. I'm going to cough that's on it. your forehead. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> um, I got so, that laugh. Shout out anyway. to Ukraine, man. I'm drinking Russian vodka. I'm so sorry, yo. Shout out to Ukraine. So, Cheers. technically, we were going to pour Cheers, the man. Russian vodka out. I ain't get my handshake. At least I got a cheer. We were going to pour the Russian vodka it. out, okay? <laughs> Our, we were going to pour it out and make a video in support. Come on, pour my goddamn vodka. Said, all all the money. proceeds. But then we realized how much he spent. What, $10? All uh, $19.99. Yeah. $19.99. Tax? Probably. 21 22 Yeah. <laughs> 21, That's, okay. It's over a dub. We can't do that. <laughs> all right, so hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, come on, sit down. We we rolling, we rolling. Okay. So listen, yeah. we have a question for you. You wanna go? Which question, question. Wanna go? Check it out. Um, y'all were talking. Ready? Y'all were talking this whole time without me. Hit him. him. Whatever. What kind of porn you like? Excuse me. You like white people porn? You like Jewish people Whoa. porn? You like girl on girl? What did I walk Fat into? Guy on guy. I like actually. Orgies. I'm gonna porn. tell you the porn. I'm gonna tell you the exact you, you porn BDSM, like. bondage. You and you, girl on girl. Vibrant. Yes, girl on girl. That's it. I like okay no no, no the porn that <laughs> no penises of all no okay <laughs> I don't no 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 I don't really like and it's crazy because I am not gay I'm not lesbian I, I'm yes, not attracted are. all right maybe but oh, I okay. the right girl has not unlocked this cookie <laughs> honestly I think all women are I gay watch a lesbian porn and I watch threesome porn two women and a man so threesome porn is really what does it for you yes which one which one does it for you more lesbian or threesome. Do you like the dick involved? I'm the dick? lesbian more. Whoa. You like, you like the, the dick not involved? At all. I do you don't like, need it. Do you like strap-ons with the woman no. porn? That's cool. No, 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 no. I no? just like... Okay, thank you. I just, that's yeah, cool. I yeah, I don't need... Vagina, vagina? Yes. What position is what we make you go... <gasps> when they scissor. Oh. I think it's very intimate, and I think it's uh, it's very. Um, as a man, will never understand. I threw up in my mouth. <laughs> Did I you? Was, I was mm, no. I was like, mm. and it's We're crazy. Like, Ew, that works. It's very interesting. What, what? turns me how, on, porn wise? How are you coming? Two things that bother me is scissoring and and girls that suck dildos like dick. Oh, I would never suck a dildo. Like that a would, girl that suck a strap on. That is like, that is pretty intense. Hey, hey, bro, that's so check very it out. intense. So, so my, my homie, it's uh, horrid. I got a home girl. Who's, I got a home girl who sells uh, pocket pussies. Right? She uh, she has a whole sex store. She just started selling pocket pussies. You know we own that now. We love a pocket. We, we love that. a good pocket. So, we we love that, a good pocket so, pussy. Um, she we just started selling pocket pussies, and I was um, was kicking it. She was giving game. Pocket pussy. And I wild. picked the po- pocket pussy up. Pick the pocket and pussy. as soon as she talks about, pussy. say that the, shit five times fast. I picked the pocket pussy up. I picked the pocket pussy up. Me picking, 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 picking. Pick the pocket pussy up. Pick the pepper. He picked the pocket pussy up. Pick 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 the pocket pussy up. If you can say pick the pocket pussy up. Five times fast, I will reward you. What's the story, though, bro? My bad. Something went wrong. Something went wrong when he picked the pocket pussy up. He dropped the pocket pussy. Now the pocket pussy came. He picked the pocket pussy up. So what happened when you put the pocket pussy up? The pocket pussy was inflamed. It couldn't fit in my pocket no more. It was inflamed? It couldn't fit in your pocket no more? What was wrong with that pussy? It was hot. (laughs) <laughs> that pussy. <laughs> right, go ahead, man. No, no. That so, pussy so, was so when, when she talked about, um, when you talked about girls sucking dildos, mm. woo, right? So ridiculous. All Nastiness. I thought about is, what's I the male? The, what's mind. the male version? 
Are we Wait, licking oh. pocket pussies? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I got it. Yeah. Could you? Could you? Yeah. Could you imagine a nigga like? <laughs> Look at the pocket pussy. Woo, like, yeah. child. The nigga's the pocket pussy's like, it's yeah. small though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, if, when, you know what I'm saying? When I do what I do. Sometimes I'm holding legs. Yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. I'm, it's you know what I'm saying? It's other shit going I, on. Yeah, I gotta, yeah. I gotta restrain you That's from actually, trying yeah. to track me this shit. Like, ain't no, no running, B. But mm-hmm. what am I doing? Am I, do I put the pocket pussy on the pill, on the, on the, on the couch and then I. Put the pocket pussy on the pillow. Put the pocket pussy on the pillow. Put the pocket pussy on the pillow and then I place my pace. Yeah, put the put the pocket uh-huh. pussy on uh-huh. the pillow. Shout out to Russia. Put the pocket pussy on the pillow. Put it out of it. But, um, it worked. So, yeah, so, worked. so the sex that you like is. The porn that I like? It's girl on girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shout out to Russia. Are we going to say this song? <laughs> Russian vodka. That Wait, we are so, throwing okay. away. Okay. For no, can I tell you guys? Welcome, sir. Welcome. I want to you tell you guys now. something very weird because I had a conversation about time. this before, right. and it was about the fact that though I am heterosexual, I love men. I have no interest in women. I am a woman. woman. I like gay male porn too. Yo, bro, you lost me. Stop touching the mic. Aside from gay male porn, I like (laughs) women porn. So I like gay porn. I don't like seeing what I do to a man or a man does to a woman. I'd rather see what they do to each other. I, I had I had a woman tell me this before. This is, I and I time. have heard that women actually do desire, like not that no, they desire no, it, but no, that no. they well, are curious about it. Well, no, okay. The girl told I'm me. I'm not even curious about it. I don't know why the fuck. I, men and women porn doesn't turn me on because I know what that looks like already. Yeah. Do, um, my, the, the, um, my friend explained it to me. Like, yeah. She likes dick so much. Yes. That she's curious because she doesn't have a dick. This is this, no, bro. This is what she said. Okay. She was like, Let's I don't get have into a dick, it. so I'm curious all the things dicks can do outside of just fucking me. And I was like, what? Oh, See, I'm not like, e- at all curious about none of no, that. No, but she was just like, she's her specifically. Yeah, she's she's she was into, just like, it. into it. She's into it. Yeah, she's into it. So she it. was like, yo, I love three men fucking each other. What? Was, what? Oh, what? Oh, you understand what I'm saying? What? Because she was like, and, and it fucked me up. Why? Like, oh, hold on. No, wait. Any story y'all got? I got a story that can. Nigga, Why for mother? that? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ma. Yeah, 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 that's what she said. And I, bro, I, my face, I'm like, nigga, what? You I, said, oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, the fuck? <laughs> yeah. The math, so here's why the math don't make sense. No maths. Right? No simple maths. Um, this is not from simple From my maths. understanding, whatever a man can do to a woman, mm-hmm. he can do to another man. Right. Like, which is why a lot of these Atlanta niggas Whoa, are DL, which is why I haven't dated a man out here in ATL unless he was from New York. I didn't want to bring Cause that up. Because if he's from New York, up. I know I don't got to deal with that kind of shit. All right, so moving on to moving our next on, topic, on, right? Sips, drink. Um, so we want to know, are these, he- are these heroes or villains, right? Oh, that's a good one. Hell yeah. Are, we these, are, are these heroes or what villains? Are you referring to what? We about to tell you. You let me know. Are these heroes or villains? Mm. So, four hundred gallons of gas stolen from High Point, North Carolina gas station. Shout out to you because I was like, damn, I gotta look it up, motherfucker. <laughs> right, four hundred gallons of gas yeah, stolen. Good. About it's approximate. They filled up anywhere between ten to 15, twelve to fifteen cars. Right, right. They filled up twelve to fifteen cars. Mm-hmm. They did something with the. <clears throat> Go ahead, break it down. You. I got you. I got you. Alley oop it. Um. Some guy. Yes. It was for them. It was some guys. Some you know geysers. Had a machine. Some, some niggas. Some, some sort of whatever, right? And it was able to. Heavenly device. Bruh. It was able to pump gas. And we know gas is high right now. Like, it that's is. the thing. Gas is very high. And so um, 400 gallons got dispersed. They said about maybe $1,700 in gas. 16, 16 and change. 16. Mm-hmm. Uh, about $1,600 in gas. Um, and it, it was only 40, about 45 minutes, but it was 45. something like 15 to 20 cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My question is, is this guy a hero or is he a thief? So what did he do? He, he ended gave up out free gas. He gave he out free gas. So, so he Your had mama a, got gas. So he Your had sister a, got gas. He had, a machi- he had a machine that basically tricked the system to go from um, $4 a gallon I to think pennies. I saw that where he was clicking... Was it this? Was this the guy I, who was clicking the? I, um, I don't know about that one because I don't know if it actually it changes the price. It changed the, the outside, price, but it wasn't. But I don't know the if it changed the system. Yeah. So he had something that literally the changed system, the system? Re- registers free. as okay. damn near free. 
And you is he a hero Give or a villain? A so, I would say that he's most definitely a hero. Okay. Most definitely right. because, so, I mean, inflation is already a thing, as well as gas being extremely high. I okay. So all right, here's the thing: a lot of these gas stations, any business in. <coughs> essence has insurance so insurance can cover mm-hmm. whatever is taken out they whatever whatever was deducted whatever stolen, was taken whatever, whatever was stolen they can have be a fraud, covered. fraud budget yes Every it can be covered by yeah. insurance so you know there's a lot of people that are struggling in the hood and that's not that it's not excusable i'm not excusing the fact that people are struggling but Damn. the fact that people are struggling and we're given access to a chance to not struggle through mm-hmm. getting some free gas by this hood hero. What would you what I'm going to call say? him a hood hero. Hood hero. He probably was like in the I'm suburb a, or something, but we're going to call him a hood hero. I'm going to call him a hood but hero. What, what would you say? Wherever he the hero fuck or, he was at. Hero or a villain? Uh, Suburban hero. I, you know, Cheers um, to you, suburbia. You just said something to fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? What the nah, fuck I say? Well, oh. Um, I'm about to say what I say. I'm you lit. know you rich when you got a fraud budget, my nigga. Yes. Oh my god. Do yeah. you understand? Like, so, so you can afford the fraud. So 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 check it out, bro. Um, that shit. These gas station so niggas is a, rich. In a previous life, I'm you, I know I, a gas station nigga. He in rich. a previous life, um, a, a friend of mine made me comfortable with um, making big companies lose. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good way okay. to put it. Okay. Yes. Making big that's companies the safe lose. Way. Right. Don't worry, you wasn't stealing. Um, Go ahead. He made me comfortable with oh. seeing big companies lose. Drop the mic. Uh, Drop the it's mic. technically the wrong way. Mic on my chest. Like the, the holder is the wrong way. It's but right. but either no, way, no, who, um, nobody would have known that. Go ahead. <laughs> um, making big companies lose, right? Welcome with, to Little Wednesday. This is what we do. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar's finally getting it. I love it. I love it. So, the boom, bro is growing up, man. I love making it. big companies lose, right? Yeah. Um, by explaining to me that. You know, every company, just like we have savings, we have an emergency fund, sure. they have a fraud, fraud budget. Because every, Absolutely. think about retail, they're going to, Niggas things are going to get bro. stolen. Yeah. Things are going to get stolen, and Absolutely. they need to put money to the side to account for that so they can still, you know, do their thing. Run uh, and <coughs> pay their bills. I've worked in restaurants. Food, uh, food waste. Food, yeah. food waste. They got enough of waste. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. With, this being, so with this being said, um, are you doing that live? Here's, here's what I, I would did. say. Here's I did. I did. Definitely, that Russia is kicking that ass. That no, 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 no. It's not. It's, it's not, not kicking that ass, but it's jabbing at the chin, though. <laughs> it was. It's that was. Jabbing. It was purposeful. Okay. So check purposeful. it out. Check it out. It's so kicking her in the leg. Oh. What? It's like tapping her shoulder. Oh, oh you trying to make a joke? Oh, it's all right. It's all, all right. right. Um. Definitely so what I would was, what I would say. Good. What I would say about that, I would personally say that it depends on you know where you looking at. Whether they're a hero or a villain, know what I'm saying, because at some point Where does I feel it like depend? I feel like being a what being does that a, look like? I think they're an anti, <laughs> I think I think they're an antihero. Okay. Right. If you're a, that's a great answer. If you're a, if, you're a, if you're a comic a answer, if you're a comic book person if yeah. you're a, a Marvel DC universe <laughs> the you uh, you understand antiheroes right? Absolutely. And here's a be, here's Absolutely. a, here's a, a simple course. way to put it. Um, you un, the world understands Robin Hood. Yes. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So yes. when you of think of when you look at the numbers of sixteen hundred dollars, I'm gonna be very honest with you. Sixteen hundred dollars to a multi million, <clears throat> multi billion dollar company slash industry, a multi million dollar um, location. Because whatever location of gas station that is, they're making millions of dollars yeah, fine, a man. year. They're gonna be right. Out. It was one day. So forty five minutes. Forty five minutes. They, only seventeen hundred dollars to a bill. Only, only less than seventeen hundred dollars were stolen. Um, yes, as the person owning the business, you don't want to be the butt of the joke. Of course right? You not. don't want to be the person where you go to the gas station owner meetings and they're like, you let yourself get stolen. Shout out to the gas station owner There goes the accents. All right. <laughs> Excuse him. They stole your, your gas. <laughs> you don't keep gas safe. <laughs> you don't keep they gas safe. You. They would not pick me. These Why are the I will real shoot. conversations at the gas station. <laughs> That's hilarious. These That's are real the, conversations at the gas station meetings. At the meetings. gas station meetings. They say, <laughs> the, they say the, the gas stations uh, anonymous. The gas station. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
<laughs> you let your gas get stolen. <laughs> we must nip in bud now. <laughs> we must nip we in must bud. We must excommunicado you. You cannot Ex- do Excommunicado. So, we love these terms. Listen, dude. everybody understands. Like, I love it. I'm 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 very I'm I'm sorry to the person who lost sixteen hundred dollars in your business. I'm not at all. Um, <laughs> I'm that, sorry, but I think I think that, that insurance hit him. Bro, you know what I've seen? I've seen what people. Did you see? I've seen people who lose but see the work that someone less fortunate went through. Yes. And they didn't. Here's what I respect, and here's why. Keep it, I'm gonna say go anti-hero for it. technically. Okay. Um, mm, anti-hero poli- politics wise, but I'm weighing more the hero because they didn't. Take that. Those pick gallons. a side. They didn't take those gallons. No, you, you can you pick you, a side. She gonna learn me. They didn't take those gallons and Swamp. keep it for themselves. Right, I'm gonna keep it to myself. Well, you don't know that? No, it was 12, to, cars 12 to 15 cars, bro. Bro, you don't know if one of them cars wasn't his, my nigga. You serious? No, 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 no. I'm talking about he. The whole 400 gallons he didn't keep me to back himself. and forth. You can't put 400 gallons in your car. So you tell. So all right, all right. So you're, you're, tell, so you're telling me you believe that he rallied a 16 up 16 gallon tank. So he rallied up. <laughs> 15 of his own cars? No, what he did was sent the text message. My nigga, right now, if I tell you, bro, gas is 100,000. That's exact. That's exact. Your nigga, you. come through right now. You're, Be here in 15 minutes. You're I'll helping. Call for free. That's bro, exactly you're helping he me. He's a hero. But that's what I'm. Auntie, though. Did you just agree with me? Yes. But you, you, were, bro, but you started not, off on the point that you're not hearing me. he's this is why anti. I'm saying, anti. I, I say, I listen, enough. guys, I say anti because they're technically, regardless of what we admit it, it, there are rules to society. Absolutely. But rules to morality, right? He is a hero due to the fact that he did not keep the gal- gases. He didn't go there with a whole bunch mm-hmm. of jugs and filled it up for himself. Right, cool. He shared the wealth Agreed. to the community. So we all agree here. That We're all in agreement. Big okay. hero vibes. So let me ask you, speaking of anti-hero, Kanye West. I don't talk about that nigga. Yeah, I had to I'll take a Apparently, we have been uh, fucking with the world's biggest anti-hero for, for, for the last couple weeks. Like, Lamar, you said it. Nigga, we talk about this motherfucker every week. Bro. Yo, he is like, doing I'm so tired of talking about some goddamn I Kanye actually West. judge people He's based right off now. of how they talk, they about, talk Kanye. about Kanye. Wow, he is that important that he I, can be studied. I actually you know love Kanye West. I'm, Kanye, if you ever see this, understand that I love you and I appreciate you. I appreciate everything that you have done. And I believe in you, your dreams, your vision, and your motives. How do you feel about Kanye for the past um, six months? What are your views? I think that, um, and this is, of course, inexcusable kind of things. I'm just talking about the way that I relate to Kanye is that losing, I lost my mother. So losing someone who is very important to your development as a human especially a person who has been involved in every single aspect of the person that you are becoming and have became plays a major role in the way that you decide to live your life afterward when they are not longer they are no longer on earth so not to say that i'm excusing the fact that you know because his mother is gone he has a right to act or behave the way he is behaving Mm -hmm. um with his family and with um you know just people who are involved in his personal situation i'm just saying that i know that he is a person who is going through things sure and just like we all are and he is famous you know he's a celebrity so it's mainstream and a lot of the private battles that people are facing on the contrary his are public because he's made them public and yeah you know in essence it looks it looks crazy i'm not gonna lie it looks it looks I, a little bit obscene but i mean i i can give you that um yeah i'm, I'm from chicago okay I'm talk I'm, about I'm, it i'm a musician rapper singer songwriter i'm over 30 you know what i'm saying so i'm from the, the era we gotta we gotta put this in there good yeah. i'm um <clears throat> we're gonna edit this okay I'm way over thirty. We're gonna. Man, I'm way over up. thirty. Clip now, that in there. Thank you. To these niggas, I'm like ninety two or some shit. No, 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 no. I absolutely eight, no, no, no. think that you're ninety. They, 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 I think they absolutely think that you're ninety two. Yeah, it's it's eighty seven. It's eighty seven. Oh, okay, eighty seven to be exact. So I've you a actually, sexy eighty seven, um, though, bro. I follow Kanye career from the jump. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I do what he does. I'm Absolutely. From the shy, I, I, I'm a producer. I was selling beats, trying to be, you know what I'm saying? So he's, he's one of my musical of idols. You know what I'm saying? He's why Mine I moved to well. New York. If you watch the documentary, you see. Absolutely. Niggas all thought like he thought. So that's why I ended up in Brooklyn. Um, I also lost my parents. You don't know that, mm. Chad. So. Wow. Yeah, I've been through it. I get it. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. I live with, you just met me, girl, shit. I know. But but, but what I'm saying is, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> you don't know that Lamar? I'm learning you so, so much. Wow. I you don't know that either? I mean, do you know I lost my dad? I don't. So, right, okay, well, look the three of us here Niggas on Willow Wednesdays <laughs> right. have lost a parent. And you both, so. Two. Yeah. Sorry no, for your lo- sorry for our loss. Yeah, but at the same time, ah, mine. Don't wasn't. even start. Anyway, Daddy wasn't shit. But Daddy I'm, wasn't there to take, take him to, to the, the fair, fair to, to change his underwear. underwear. Daddy, Daddy wasn't there. there. We get it. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, <laughs> yeah, nah, it's gonna be TikTok the fuck up. Baby. <laughs> this is okay. No, the snort. Let's just clip All the right. snort. Anyway, um, back smart. into the Daddy never did it. <laughs> Daddy never did it. Fit taking to the fair air. <laughs> to change him under wet air. Daddy him never did it. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 Daddy wasn't there. Right, go all go right. for it. Apparently these clips work. Well, I'm sitting there looking stupid. No, and, no, uh, no, 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 no. There's a whole Caribbean thing happening. And I'm just like. Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> yo, you the, yo. I do empathize with Kanye as of far course. as what he went through, right? But at some point, fuck what you went through, bro. You wildin', my nigga. I absolutely You know what I'm saying? You, you wildin'. Cause and I, you making stupid yeah. shit happen. And the reason that we brought up Kanye, because I just was going to segue into the shit with him and D.L. Hughley. Yes. Because um, that's this week's Kanye's drama. Um, <laughs> D.L. Hughley last week had some comments about Kanye, which was actually, I mean, I fuck with D.L. Like, D.L. was a smart. What did he say? Last, last week, he, he was talking about how um, it's pretty much... It's bad. You 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 you're pretty much stalking Kim. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. You, on a high level, you know what I'm saying? Because you and I've been to get the through that. And I've been the girl who has gone through the stalking and the and, harassment. And that's what that's and what the what scary shit. And that's what everyone's talking about. Don't Trevor, forget to throw in Trevor, Trevor Noah. Noah. Talk, yeah, you got it. Trev, go Trev, so Trevor Noah went in, uh, as you said. Trevor Noah went in more of an in-depth situation where he related to it. Um, right. He related to it because he said. You know, we're watching something happen that can go wrong. Right. Yes, and this this absolutely. reminds me of a situation where his mother um, was going through it with his father, right. and his mother would go and they would respond saying, "Hey, well, what did you do wrong to the dad, or what did you right. do wrong? Were you talking back? Were you doing this?" Yeah. The same way that people might be saying, "Well, Kim loves attention," or "What is Kim doing mm-hmm. to the kids?" Or she's blah, a porn blah. star. Yes, like, she's well, a porn yeah, star. She, she loves it. Star, bro. But like, then. But then um, Trevor Noah's sick. mother ended up getting shot in the head by his father. Wow. Right? Wow. Um, no, I fixed it. So he ended up getting shot in the head by his, his father. And that is something that he sees it. And he's basically saying, like, you know, yes, one's a different extreme because one actually, you know, went all the way through. Yeah. But this could be something we're watching a car crash. We're watching right. a car crash from Most the jump. Definitely. We're watching the swerving right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're watching the swerving. And we're just like, oh, this is so We're watching the collision. And the only reason yeah. why it's entertaining, the only reason why we're letting it rock is because of what he's done and the level of person that he's become. Right. Most definitely. So, mm-hmm. So that's the reason why this comes to the... Why am I doing all this? Uh, that's the reason why it comes to the DL shit. Because DL had the similar comments before. And then DL was at a restaurant and uh, a dude... I'll say, I'll say his name. Uh, Theophilus, I, I, I've heard his music. What's his name? He's um, from Brooklyn, so by the way. A ju- yeah, un- unfortunately. No, no, but his mm-hmm. music ain't bad. Like, so I've actually went out to one of his because, shows. I'm re- embarrassed, but it's true. Regardless of his, his music being bad or not, music, you know? the first time I heard about him... Is through this, and when I what I heard was the video clip. He's corny, bro. He's corny. That's for the hella. Clip. What was said though? So, so a gentleman by the name of uh, Theophilus London. Theophilus London, right? The He's name, a rapper from Brooklyn. Okay, we're not even gonna comment on the name. He, he Theophilus. Theophilus London. That's his artist name. DL DL okay. tells a story. He 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 sees DL. This Theophilus. DL tells a story. DL um, Hughley says that he saw a gentleman. He's out no eating dinner. 
right? He's out eating, eating dinner with, I think it was his family or yeah, with whoever. Yeah, it was just a family dinner. And yeah. Lon- uh, Mr. London is walking back and forth by the table or whatever. He notices him, but he doesn't really say anything to him. And then D.L. goes to the bathroom. Theophilus meets Fal- him in like the, follows the bathroom, bathroom, follows him to the bathroom, and starts talking to him about the Kanye situation. Yeah. D.L. automatically is like, yo, why is he talking to me with my, my dick in my head? <laughs> yeah, right? like, I'm in the bathroom, um, bro. The so he's talking about the situation, and they basically, you know, share banter about it. Um, I guess in the, I'm going to assume that D.L. is kind of like, you know, I like that educating word choice, him. banter. Yeah. I'm gonna, he's educating him. Yeah. like, yo, like, like, this is suck shit. I understand that. I'm going to just assume again that Kanye is probably a big, big person to Theophilus. He probably right. really inspired him yeah. to yeah. be an artist, and he just... Wants to protect his hero. And what was crazy is that <clears throat> Theophilus, <laughs> honestly, I hate his name, but I like it because I hate it. It's, I just like saying right. we'll call, We're going to call him Theo. Terrible name. Theo. Um, so that's what Theo was calling him. For me. lack of a better term. Theo Huxable. It was hilarious. But, <laughs> um, but, but, but pretty much he posted the clip on some clout chasing shit like, yo, I ran up on DL and pressed him. And they got this oh, clip of DL like shit. this. Because, you know, you snap the clip and DL just yes. looking at him like, nigga, who are you? you know? Who are but you? But the clip is, bro, who are, what, are you serious? Right. And it's nothing, that what he, it's nothing like what he explained. you hear the rest of the conversation afterwards. Because mm. you know how we are now. Everything is Embarrassing. clickbait. Embarrassing, yes. Everything is clickbait. So the clip, oh, Theophilus ran up on <laughs> DL, you know what I'm saying, making DL look like this. He t- told him, I made him apologize. DL was like, that didn't happen. That's bull. And then they posted the rest of the clip. And he's like, yeah, DL. That stuff with you and Kanye, man, y'all got to fix that. Y'all, like, that's great. <laughs> exactly. It's nothing. Exactly. But what Home happened moves. is DL was like, this now gets dangerous. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because you're you. But imagine a random, hmm. you know what I'm saying? We've been talking about that for weeks. This is how a person gets shot, killed, like you say, stalked, yes. raped, what, what, any weeks. God bad. forbid, yeah. It's so, like the beginning of watching some shit go bad. Somebody trying to look good. I'm gonna do this on behalf of Kanye. You know, mm. yeah. like Kanye got too much money. He got too much everything. He right. can't risk it. Mm-hmm. I got you, Kanye. Yes. I'll do it. Yes, I'll do it. I think Kanye. That's wants where it done. becomes a little bit dangerous. And that's the, and that's why this is a dangerous talk. And and while this has been happening, um, I was listening to Charlemagne. He was like, um, y'all notice Kanye kind of like relaxed. Because at some point, it's like, you, you got to see w- what we're building, you know? No, like, definitely. You know, it's weird. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, to probably conclude, like, this particular... Uh, you conclude and stuff. No, to conclude this particular conversation. I, to, no, I'm just I just feel like whatever it is that he's going through, I can tell that he's obviously hurt. He's obviously hurt. He's obviously going through... Um, uh, I don't know what it is, it, whether it's regret or just reflection over the situation that he's had with his wife. Right. And, um, you know, he probably hasn't mature, maturely, is that a word? Maturely figured out how to handle mm-hmm. it. And yes, hopefully heinous. he does. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't heinous. <laughs> he ain't heinous. If he, had, oh he probably God. hasn't figured out how to fully overcome the situation yet. Word. At the point that he fully understands how to <laughs> overcome the situation, which... I feel like we all hope and wish that he does so that we can stop talking about this is right. that, you know, like Kanye, chill out. He's doing a lot right now. And it's I think okay it's because he has that. it. Yeah. yeah he's Reminded doing a, a that, great lot right now. That was good. Actually, that was great. I just want to point out, you said that. I'm sad that he's going through the, the, so the much. Kanye, chill out. Let's have a talk. Pause for yeah, a second. Yeah, like, I'm yeah, sad yeah. that it, he's it, going through a, all of it. It's okay. Yeah, we, we said that. It's it's It's... it's and you want to know some crazy? Somebody I've said, been through it too. Somebody said so that I know. what Kanye is going through is technically normal. Yeah, it's what he's, very what he's normal. Going through oh, is yeah. normal. <laughs> we're not gonna say it's normal. When we say normal, we're not saying it's okay. Yeah. Ex- what he's doing is wonderful. Not okay. Clarification. We're saying it's normal, as in we love he, when a man clar- clarifies things like that. Yeah, we understand, but uh, it's not okay. It's not. It's not mm. okay. But we we understand because this is a phase, right? It definitely you is. To, some for some people, they respond to certain things in a particular way, and you are going through this phase. But because you're on yes. a, such a bigger level, and because of your resources. Your resources, your money, mm-hmm. your um, influence, you're yes. able to affect um, a particular negative change, and you probably don't realize the kind of power that you have right. in that fashion. Right. But out of fun, in the fight, oh my God. Kanye. 
I mean, I haven't thought about it, so it's, I'm, that's why I'm very asking. hard. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna give be, it to Kanye. DL is sixty. You gonna give it to Kanye? Wait, wait, hold on. Kanye. Wait, hold on. DL is definitely giving it to Kanye. D, wait, wait, just let Whoa. me let me give the Listen, DL is the credentials. E6, E6, is he a healthy sixty? He's a healthy sixty. Cause healthy sixty year olds. Healthy sixty. Wait, wait, wait. Who drinks? Hold on. But he from Crenshaw. Like that nigga's from LA, LA. Like he got like like DL is a, a hood nigga. I love you. Right? All right. So, so I, I also love Kanye. Like, why are you, what are you I didn't even touch it. It fell so, into my lap. So, so due to so DL like and Kanye. things normally do, they fall into my lap. So due to um, due to no. due to right. Savage, due to my God, idea God, of due to, my, due to my idea of <laughs> savageness, oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna give it to DL. Okay. Um, cause he's not a frail sixty. I think that he's, he's a he's a functional sixty. If we if we put pull, some weight on too, so what the weight got to do with anything? I ain't never. Seen if Kanye we fight. talk about the know. art I'm of saying, war, no, no art of war. I feel two like no. Drunk if we talk about the art of war, I feel like DL would probably have a lot more thought process. He's a little older, so he'll been have a lot. For a yeah, like he'll have a lot more thought process. <laughs> Kanye is coming from a really doing. emotional situation. I feel like Kanye is coming yeah, from a, an emotional standpoint. <laughs> oh, oh, so I yeah. feel like DL, DL is, is like he's gonna come you in. You see this table yes. right here that I could hit you. Okay. Exactly. Right, so we'll, um, that, I'm sorry, Kanye, but I love you, and I just want you to know that. So before we move on to our very last segment last of the day, I do want to. Now, do we have a, we have a woman on the show, um, and, yes, and in the, the past week, Raya. We, in the past week, we kind of seen something with another uh, beautiful young lady. You had another woman the, on the show. Um, no, relax. Okay. Um, in the past week, we've seen something in the news from another beautiful young lady who is going, you know, what some would say downhill. Um, I saw a lot of people what? unfollow Megan the Stallion, a particular lady. I saw a lot of people unfollow her. I saw her be removed from yeah. certain I, opportunities. Yeah, and I saw another young, very small gentleman um, speak on. What, what 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 did Lane say? I'm what, not sure. What, what did, did Tori he, say? He called Tori Lane a small gentleman. <laughs> he you, did. Have he you seen used him? small, not the M word. That boy is very low. He my man though. He top is, five. He's You're a, my top five he is now, a small man. Top I would, five artist. I would never height. do him. I wouldn't do so him. I can't call him small. You don't choose height. So when people call other people big man, I can't call him little man. <laughs> bro, you don't want to get beat up by a whole lot of Tory Lanes, bro. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It. I got. A, I got. I got a vengeance. All little people can get it. Okay. Uh, okay. At this we point. Got it right. we at this point. That's right. right. I'm proud all of little us. people. We did it, y'all. Now, I did, off. I did see that. <laughs> I did see that, and I was fig- I was trying to figure out what it was. What was let, the, let me, let me, let me what, say, what say all right, cool, boom. So I know encrypted to Stallion. build it up, right? So long story short, uh, recent Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez news, uh, multiple high-level artists or people in the hip-hop industry yeah. have – unfollowed Megan the Stallion simultaneously. Yes. And um she was also removed from the her Fenty. partnership with uh Rihanna and Fenty. Okay. Right? Yep. Uh, All true. And yeah, yeah, and other little things I, I don't really remember the specifics, but I know like Jay Drake. It's a lot, yeah. Um they have unfollowed her all at the same time. So niggas know something. And then Tory Lane's Something's also going said down. at the same time, like yo, um he ba- he said something Basically, he made like a funny video at one point it was cool. and then whatever. said something like, hey, yeah. look, you know, protect or whatever. So I actually saw, um, and this is completely, um, you know, it won't be like, it's not sourced from anywhere c- credible, but. Don't get that position. This huh? bothers me. Yeah, your hand, I see it. Yeah, yeah no, I, it wasn't sourced from anywhere credible, but um, a, I saw somebody say that she. And this is allegedly. She big, big allegedly, allegedly tried to take a black man down. Oh no, a thousand percent. So I didn't hear that, but I did hear something like Tori was kinda like, That's what happens when you lie. I'm Wait, out. So hold on, go ahead go ahead and That's finish. Was that the end of the sentence? That that is definitely the end of the sentence because I didn't look into further detail and I didn't ask any questions I, from I, that. How source. do you how do you feel about that situation? Like how did you feel then and how do you feel now since so much since it's, it's kind of it hasn't unraveled all the way, but it's unraveled a little bit. How do you feel as a as a black woman? Um, just as far as what's happening with her, what's happened with the Tory Lanez and Megan Stallion situation? You know, it's a situation that I haven't even followed too deeply. Mm-hmm. I to that. be honest, 
I haven't followed that situation too deeply just because I feel like there was never enough evidence out there to even put anything together or have your own idea mm-hmm. about in the first place. I just feel like it was a whole a bunch of speculation for a real long time. Mm-hmm. Nobody ever had any real theory. There was never any real information. 100%. 100%. 100%. And, I, and it really yeah, actually the, aggravated me the, after the, a while that claim, I didn't care about it. The claim was that you were shot in the foot and you ain't even show up looking like Lamar right now. <laughs> This nigga was not shot in the foot. He was and not he's shot. in the worst position. Didn't this he? is a sprain. You what and I'm this saying? is more if, than I've seen if, anyone who if was I under shot in the foot. Under, and, understand, if I accuse Tory Lays of something, it's gonna be some type of legible situation. It's, I gotta catch. it's definitely gonna be Yo, like, so, wait, did Tory Lanez do that to you? Relax. Him and his people Ooh, pulled up on the me. little <laughs> people. Oh, the little people. people. The little, the little, the little people. people. No, so so um so you so how did you yeah, because you viewed it as you know not enough information. How did you see? How did you feel? How did you feel when you realized all the backlash that he was receiving just from being a black man with those kind of allegations? Um. So one thing about who I am as a black woman is appreciating being black. So black men and black women are very important to me. Very important to me. So a black man being under scrutiny affects me just as much as a black woman under scrutiny. You know what I'm saying? So it's like him being under scrutiny of a situation that nobody had a lot of information on anyway, a whole bunch of he said, she said, and we didn't really have a definitive story. That shit is heinous. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's a heinous crime. <laughs> it's a heinous, heinous. It's a heinous crime. Heinous. I, I really... um, I, It affects me just as much as it would affect a black woman having gone through the same situation. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm 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 not even gonna segue. I'm just gonna start the new topic because it is similar. Yeah. I wanna I wanna judge man code versus woman code. Let's talk about it because right? this is this is what I'm here this, for. This is the last thing we out and it's hap- and I'm uh, yo, thank you, Lamar, for inviting I am so happy to just have a woman on the show because we be I am here. blessed. Thank you. It'd be mad dicks, bro. Mad dicks. I've been saying it for a minute. I don't know yeah. how y'all feel so, so comfortable with so many here. dicks. I'm very um, grateful. No, I appreciate for it. the um, invitation. So, Thank you. It doesn't know. It doesn't know. Now I saw this on the TV show. Like I wish I made it up, but it was just the, that was what the episode was about. Mm-hmm. So, you as a man, your best friend. Okay. You as a woman, your best friend. Yes, let's talk about it. She's a woman. Your best friend. Your, your best girl friend. Your best man friend. You know what I mean? Yes. They get married. Start there, because I'm just supposed to say I can set it up in person. So, your best friend, your best friend, they fall in love and get married. Our best friends fall in love and get married. Fall in love and get married. I mean, that's already crazy, right? What about this it? This is the premise of the show, and I was watching this like, hmm, this is interesting. Mm-hmm. So then, they find out that the guy's cheating on them. <laughs> <laughs> and it just <laughs> fucked my head up, because that's what it was about. So, the guy is, um, the cheating guy is going to, not you, your best friend is coming to you like, bro, hold me down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know what's what what going on, right? Woo. Now, the regular guy, the, the, the main guy, yes. his wife, they're a lot of, they, you know, so he's like, yo, I think, and she's like, I know what you're doing. She found out. You know, right. Because women are women, you know what I'm saying? So, he basically told his wife, um, yeah, they, they cheat. So she's like, fuck, that's my best friend. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to, so you're, you're saying that we're married. Right. And okay, I, let's okay, use okay, yeah, so, because you kind of you said it. First you, you used us, then you didn't. Into context. So I'm, I'm going to run it back, and then you pick up. So we're married. You're married. She has a best friend who's a woman. I have a best friend who's a guy. We do something to each other. Now they get married. What a life. And then now me and my wife right here, we find out that that, my best friend is cheating on her friend. Nigga, that's it. Okay. okay. That's why, like, when I tried to text it, I was like, this is going to look right through a text. Voice note. Voice note. <laughs> but go ahead. So what is the question? So my question <clears throat> is, do you hold your guy down? Do you tell your, your wife not to tell her best friend? Hmm? Oh. Do you hold your... your no, your, I hear you. Yeah. Are you, like... <clears throat> and that's why I say man code versus woman code. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because the wife is like, hell yeah, I'm going to tell that. That's my best friend. Mm-hmm. Girl, he cheating a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Okay, look. So it's interesting. And I Let was like, damn, man code, something. woman code. I got you. Who wants to speak first? Uh, go ahead. It's a weird situation, but you talk to me. I will tell you honestly that when it comes to me and my husband, mm-hmm. 
whatever information is about an outside source has right. nothing to do with us. Uh, so okay. whatever problems or issues that are going on with another person's life right. is their life, and I'm going to let them handle it. But this your best friend. Regardless of a best friend. We know it's going to fall. I'm sorry. No, no, no. But, and I will but say. But your best friend, though. If my like, best you got, friend. You have a best friend, right? I do have a best friend. So it's her. Now, do you and, feel and that this same is, way about her? Yeah, okay. That's what With I'm my best friend, I feel like she's going to know what's going on in her, in her relationship. Okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? But otherwise, I don't need an outside. For me personally, like what I would say is I don't want an outside source telling me what's going on in my shit. Got what it. I don't know won't hurt me. Mm, and okay. I feel like what I do know will hurt me. And I don't want to be the person to go ahead and relay that information. And fuck some shit up. I me. don't want to be the person to go ahead and relay no no information. I feel like if me and my husband have a good enough relationship with the friend who is cheat- cheating, we can either come to a consensus, we can talk to him like, hey, you feel like this is something you want to communicate to Shorty? Like, yeah. is this something that is going to be valuable to communicate in order to like move forward? But I'm not sharing no information because I ain't never been a type. I'm not putting myself in between no situation where, I'm sorry. you know, yeah. it's anger and aggression and then I'm in a crossfire and they're going to be together anyway. <laughs> I was just about to jump into that. So where... Shit. It, how, how it... How it <laughs> Yo, yeah. So, <laughs> so get old school. Shit. So, <laughs> so, so sorry, two I'm things, sorry. two things, right? <laughs> so yeah. number one, Woo! number one. I got you. I'm listening, but I'm gonna... Before we even get there, I'm gonna. Uh, no, we good. We good. We good. We good. Now nah, it's good. It's at a good angle. All right. It's at a good angle. Number one, before we even get there, something that I tell my man's. Um, number one, if you go, if you gonna do something wrong, if you gonna do, cheat or whatever, you need to yeah. make sure that y- we're not condoning it. Right. But if you're going to do wrong, if you come to me and look, how do I rob the bank? I don't think you should. But if you're going to, let me look out for you. Talk about it. Right? If you're going to do wrong, you need to you need to make sure that the harder you work to keep this concealed shows the level of respect that you have for your partner. Woo! Right? <laughs> oh. Down. I've been, I've been, no, I've been, that was good. Nah. I've been saying that for a long while. I didn't yeah. know it was that. Don't I didn't know it was, was that deep. That was good. Look, don't nobody be listening to you, nigga. Please nah. listen. Nah. These two old listen. school motherfuckers. That was, that was so, so listen. Good, so bro. that Baby, needs I'm, to be ran back four, <laughs> four or five times. I need that line. So the harder. TikTok, so look. Shit. So you have. <laughs> so everyone, ha- everyone says that they have their shit. own natural that was, desires. That was good. Shit. That was good. Listen, listen. Everyone says that they have their own natural desires. People say that yo, this is gonna happen. People say this is going to happen anywhere or whatever, but the level of work that you put into keeping I'm your... i now. We heard you. Nigga. Yeah, no, nah, I'm about... <laughs> Listen, Kiara, you know Mac... me, bro. I love you, and I'm going to cut your ass. So, you. the, level of, the level of work that you put in to keep what you got For the fourth on, time. Fully respectful, you know what I'm saying? Yes. That shows how much you care about your mm. person. Now, here's what I would say. I'll be like, yo, bro, don't put yes, me and minds in that situation in the first place. Right. Because now... You're putting we're, us. We're you're putting us. You're putting us in a position where we have to choose, or where me and my wife, me and my, me okay, and my, podcast and my wife husband, might hubby. have to. Me and my wife might. Woo! What if we, podcast hubby. What if me and my wife disagree on whether we should no tell her? No more wrestling. No more wrestling at all. Whether we should tell her or not, right? If we disagree now, me and my wife are arguing about that. Should we tell? Should we not tell? Right. I'm like, yo, if you love me, you are gonna keep this down. She's like, how can you <laughs> even agree with him or da da da. Now there's now trouble. You understand the fight. It's a That's there's right. a yes. trouble in our relationship. Right. I'm gonna say number one, don't put us in that situation. Absolutely. I don't want to know. She doesn't need to know. Right. Don't put it. Don't bring us around. If you feel like this is something you need to do, right. you need to convey it to your your wife. Your person. That this is how you're with. feeling. This maybe I can. Come I to feel a like it's not manly. Yeah. To oh, cheat. Oh. No no but no the, no but, not but, to cheat. But the only oh. reason why I put this consent, like the only reason why no you're thinking I'm boom. You know what I'm saying? But. I know how women feel about their friends. And that's and, and that's the reason why I said it. That's the reason why the little caveat is, it's your friend that's getting cheated on. Yeah. Your best friend. Who's calling you like this motherfucker? I love that. I'm going to eat this. You know what I'm saying? Bro. It's mm-hmm. that shit. And that's your girl. It ain't just no. some little, you know, it's your girl for real. Yo, so look, I, this is my I, thing, right? <laughs> like, and this is the last thing I'm going to say on this topic because I'm a real, beyond being a real woman, mm-hmm. 
I am a real friend. I also mind my business, though. Mm -hmm. And I feel like everyone should have grace. They should also have a smidgen of minding their business inside their lifestyle. And like, I got a question. My bad. Yeah, talk to me. What's the question? But and it's only, As, because, it's only because we haven't had a woman on the show in a while. It's been a lot of guys. Yeah, uh, men hold we hold we hold each other accountable. Or if we don't do that, we at least gonna make fun of you in an off kilter ass way. Guys like, hold each other accountable for what? Good, great question. Um, everything. It's, but it's, it, it, it well, like, no, like wait, do they every, hold each other? Wait, wait, me, I'm me, sorry. Me, hold on. They everything. hold each other account accountable for cheating on their everything. Women everything. Counterpart? Everything. It's just everything. not. It's not to but the it, same it's level not, it's, it's, or yeah, not yeah. to the same extent. It's not communicated so, the same way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We we, could, we so, don't want to come off. We don't want to be feel like we're doing too like much. Player hating. Because in a way, like yes, we're confident in our stance, but we're not confident to the point where we're like. We want to feel like we're telling you what to do. Right. Like, so we're no not one wants to be the preachy ass nigga. Yeah. Right? We're not play hating. He's my friend. But we just I don't saying... want to be like Lamar. Don't do this. Go do that. Don't no, nigga. Yeah, you cheating a... on your girl again, God? Nigga, yeah. bring over her. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. fourth girl this week. Okay. Do you understand? Oh, like, horny ass. Like, so joke. what's the question? So my thing is, do women do that with each other? Women. Because that will, bro. I love this man. <laughs> mm-hmm. I will talk shit, pause, cut his ass all day. I can't say no. I can say I love you, bro. I love you too, pause. Bro. I love you. Absolutely. I love you. Too. I love you. Too. Go ahead. Rolling. Finish. I love this man. Mm-hmm. But I hold him accountable for you doing some fuck shit. Same thing with Jay. Same thing with Barry. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And and honestly, same shit with me. So <laughs> like, I'm gonna hold my woman friend accountable yeah. for the things that she is doing within her relationship. Why are you continuing to do something that you don't naturally want to do? Uh, uh, uh. But you know her man is cheating. If I know what that, what do you do there? If I know that if my know friend's yet, or, man, you know what I mean? like how do you, do you know, navigate I'm gonna that? I'm gonna tell you honestly. Okay. If I know that my friend's man is cheating on her, mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell her one time, mm. one and done. Yo, some things have came to my attention that I think that you should know about. Right. I heard through the grapevine that such and such is going down with so and so, and in that regard. I think that, you know, this is a situation that you need to look into. I'm not going to tell her how to maneuver the situation because I'm a grown woman and she's a grown mo- woman. She could do whatever she want to do. Okay. I'm going to dive saying? just a little deeper. Dive in. Would you want your friend to tell you? Kind of contradicted a little bit. Who? Just, no, no. Contradict- don't, fuck, no fuck Who contradicted what? Stop, stop. No. Listen to me. T- t- no, I'm definitely here. listening to you, but I ain't contradict. I, I know. I, I ain't no, contradict no. a motherfucking thing. No, no. But that's what I'm saying. Listen to me. And we know me. that for a fact because we're going to roll these tapes back to see. So listen to me real quick. But real quick. I personally. Would you, would you want to know? Would you want your best friend? Now, mind you, everybody family. That's the reason why this is a thing. Because as a man, mm-hmm. I don't <laughs> think we would. Like, I think we would like. That's why I said I. I I really wish I called this man code versus woman code. Yeah. I don't know I woman code. Know. I don't know how that works. Men if will always hold their guy down until we just can't hold you no more. Yeah. Oh, you caught, nigga. <laughs> At that point. You remember that shit? Like, we caught. <laughs> we are caught. However, <laughs> what you were saying is that but what I'm even is, though yeah, you guys was, will hold each other accountable to yeah. each other, you yeah. won't hold each other accountable to the woman. That's what you're saying. You're saying that if a woman, if a man is caught in his duties, he's caught. So yeah, so what I And as a woman, if a woman is going ahead and, you know, trying to figure out whether or not her man is cheating and her best friend is on some look, where I am on it on the spectrum, Mm -hmm. you asked me if I would appreciate my best friend friend. telling me if my man was cheating. Right. Now, it's all about approach. Because if somebody comes to me and, and talking to me sideways about my man cheating on me and the way it sounds sounds crazy, I might pop on her. Mm, you, feel, you feel attacked. Because it's like, wow. what, like, what are you a, saying to me right now? Because like, I've gone that's through. That's why this is cool to me because I don't think men feel like that. Can we flip the scenario? Like, I don't think men feel like that. In what way did you want to flip the scenario? Because let me finish this one point. I personally, if a woman wanted to tell me that a man is cheating on me, that my if my best it's friend, a real friend, if like my not, real yeah. best friend is like, yo, shorty, like you know, how me and you was coming, long time friends, right, right, right. you know, X, Y, and Z is going on, and this came to my attention, I a thousand percent respect it. 
Okay. I thousand percent respect it. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold the information down. Mm. I don't think I'm gonna react or retaliate on my man immediately. I'm gonna hold that information. Just watch. Okay. And I'm gonna like you know I'm gonna hold it close to me because it's information mm. that came from a real from friend. A real source. That's why I say that's important. Yeah. That's why I say men and women. That's. Why, but I need to know the facts. Name. I need to know yeah, who, yeah. what, who, when, and where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm not about to just take any information just because it might seem like a solid source. Right. Exactly. So can we can we flip it? When I say flip it, let's say. <clears throat> we're still married. Your best he friend. He want to be married to me. Your best friend oh. is married to my best friend, right? Okay. But your best friend is the one cheating on my best friend. She tells you, and we, me and, and you me and find you are out. having a conversation <clears throat> about it. Yeah. Gotcha. And so, how do you? How would you? How how would you feel about Word. that? Would Y'all you? Married. I'm would you? Best would you not want me to tell? And I'm married to your best friend. Would you not want me and to this tell my guy? On me. Yes. Would you not want you do not want me to tell my guy that his girl's cheating, or how would you like me to go about that? Or how would you? What would that be kind of a conversation be with between you and your spouse? So between me and my spouse, because y'all married, y'all and married. this is the thing, and this is the type of person that I am. I feel like whatever is within my control, I can control. Mm. But if you feel like you need to do that service to your man's, I would never stand in between you and that. I would never come in between you and your man's. But you know she's. Cheating. And I love this girl. But this hold is on, the hold thing. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm you didn't, not you gonna... didn't get what she just said. I heard it. She, yeah. did, she didn't did. say that she's going to stop. She didn't say that she's going to tell you to go do it, and she didn't say that she's not going to tell yeah. you to do it. She understands whatever my conscience feels like is right, that's what I should do. That's because where my, I'm at. My loyalty yeah. in this situation, I'm loyal to her and, and I'm loyal to him. Now, to I'm comment on to your point, that's crazy. and to comment on your <coughs> point <coughs> is that, it. like, it's the type of woman that I am in my relationship, yeah. nothing that is outside of my relationship can com- come in between my relationship. That, yeah. So it's like, I'm not going to be mad at my spouse for the things that he wants to do, regardless of it being my friend. Right. She knows her wrongdoing. If my spouse feels like, you know what, like, babe, I got to... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if he feel, like, if my spouse feels like, babe, I got to really tell him because, you know, this is a good dude. I've been rocking with him since diapers. Like, you know, this is sandbox. This is a sandbox nigga to me. Like, yeah. I'm going to feel like, all right, look, that's your, like responsibility to him, I'm not going to stand Fair in between enough. that. So, However, mm-hmm. I might let my shorty know, like, look, me and Babe talked about the situation, and, like, he's very persistent on, like, letting this information be clear, so you need to figure out what you got to do. Ooh. Yeah. So it. so what I would say with that is, um, if if it's, I'm going to do two things. Me is my friend, and or it's my girl's friend. That's being cheated on. Like, doing the cheating, right? Right. Or, or being cheating on, like my guy, my guy friends being cheating. Losing on. me. Hold on. It's okay. My bad. We'll do whatever. <laughs> Let me tell you. The la- my, look, the last thing friend, I'm gonna say is, I mind my business. Okay. <laughs> I mind my guy my friends business. being cheated on, right? Um, if I find out that my girl's best friend is cheating on him, I'm, I'm gonna feel obligated to tell to him. let my man's know, right? And I realize when we do play this back, it is. It is a little different mm-hmm. based on ro- based on position, how your viewpoint is, right? Because re- no. my viewpoint is shifting based on position. It's the deeper we get. So running it back, this is why I go back to don't put us in this position. Right. Don't put us in this position because if, if my girl has to choose who she's more loyal to between you or your wife, which is her best mm. friend, she's more than likely going to want to choose her best friend, Right. And is that right? Let, let me break. I, I is that right? Let me hear. Is let me break that it down. Right? If my best friend is cheating on my wife's best friend, I find out. Now my wife finds out. Right? If my wife finds out, if I find out, here's the thing. I'm not gonna tell my wife. We're men. We. But that's the reason why I said what I. But y'all I'm, understand that's why this was such a dope if, concept to me. De- Listen, it's definitely it's a, a dope, dope concept. concept I'm like, I, as a man. If I know man code, I'm going to hold my man's down, if bro. I find out that my, if I find Period. out that my best friend is cheating on my wife's best friend, that's, yo, bro, I don't, I don't want to hear it. That's none of my business. I don't, right. Right. I'm not going to just go and run to my wife and tell her this information, right? right? But now, if this guy puts me and my wife in a situation where, well, she, fucked, uh-huh. where she knows and she sees it, you bringing this extra bitch around. Ah, I'm a, I'll, take, that shot. I'll take my shot. You You're bringing this extra girl right, around. Okay. 
<laughs> you know me, bro. I'm on it. You taking all right? You, I'm on it. I'm on it. I gotta chill. Yeah, yeah. You bringing you're, this extra? Don't tell me to go ahead. This extra girl. You you're bringing this. Uh, God damn. That was a small one. It was. You're bringing this extra girl. You know, drink it, drink it. You gotta relax. Drink that shot. One, two. After this, after my comment. All right. You're bringing this extra girl around, and you're putting this in our face. Right. Right. There. Even even in your cheating, there's a level of respect you have to have for us. 100%. Y'all remember? Y'all, okay, real quick. Woo, okay, that's okay, a nerve. Okay. There's a level yeah. of respect you just have to, to have just, for me and just my to wife. Sum it up, before we go, y'all remember the best man when the bald dude showed up with the other girl, and his friends want to hold him down, but they was all like, "Bro, you why you are you are tripping, my nigga!" Like you're clearly, doing obviously. Uh huh. That shit's terrible. Come uh-huh. on, uh-huh. let it hit him. Let it hit him. That's what you get. Don't say the b word on Willow. Let me tell you something. But and, and that's why I say so that scenario. I want to say to my go, queens, I though, gonna, I don't want to seem like I am the type of woman who is not going to be down for my women. Because I am a ladies woman. You like, you like girl, girl I am a ladies porn. woman. But you like I am honestly going to say like men, that this is, this is not, crazy, no, too. hold on. Yeah, this is too. not about men and women. This is just about how I perceive situations. I am going to mind my business at all times. I get it. Like, I I don't want no parts. And so even if a man, if my husband decides, like, yo, babe, I got to tell him, I, again, I'm not going to stand in between that. But I personally have no, that's not my issue. I get it. It's not my issue. I don't want to talk about it. So I'm not putting my heart in it because regardless, if I break that information to her and she still sticks with her man, that's information that... So, do you need, so, do you so need proof quick, just, to, just to, to leave? B- before we get up out of here, man, let me Damn, show you what happened on, in, on the, on the, do on the show. Do you need proof to leave? Wait, wait, no, 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 but let me, but let me. Damn, can we, let, no, can no, we no, dive but, into that? On. Let me tell you what happened in the show. It was, oh, a, show. Yeah. It was a premise. I want to argue about it, and then I want to tell you what happened. All right, what it. happened? So what happened was the argument that the man was having with his best friend was the same argument. He was like, you got me out here with my wife trying to, like, nigga, what the fuck? Why would you put me into this stupid shit? And he like, I mean, oh, you be, I mean. And the wife was like, okay, I don't know if I quite want to tell my girl yet. You know what I'm saying? So then, fast forward, it's a TV show. Right. The wife finds some shoes or something interesting. <laughs> in the, you know what I'm saying? And she's like, some what the TV fuck is shit. this? Yeah, 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 some, some TV, TV shit. shit. And he's like, baby, that's crazy. And, 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 and the friend and everybody's like, well, that's crazy. I didn't even know that would happen. That is wild. You know, you just get saved because it's TV. You know, you only got 30 minutes to write a show. So they ended up breaking up. But the point is... Yeah. <laughs> the way they ended up breaking up? Yeah, she left. Because she, she found out that he was cheating. Yeah. That's your question. Do you need proof to l- that someone's cheating to leave? And then we're done. Do you need proof that someone's cheating to Ma, leave? we got to end the show. That is a it's very ju- good fucking question. What time God is it? I know, it. right? I know. You, we went you, over so much. Damn, that's a good do question. Do you need One proof? Do you need proof we go, we go, I, I, Do you need proof that someone's cheating to say, I'm out? I got two answers. I've got one answer. I got two answers. Okay. I got seven. Well, I don't even know, but I only got two. I only got two. All right. Uh, Dame, go ahead. Hit me with your two, two answers. I only have two. Rapid fire, my um, boy. Do I need proof? No. But if I get proof, duh. The other question is, I'm an honest person. You can tell me. It's different. Yeah. Mm. The last girl that cheated on me told me. Told. I didn't need proof. But it's because I also asked. And don't ask questions you don't want answers to. I'm that person. I'll ask yeah. the question. Let me know. Absolutely. You fucking old boy? She said yes. Absolutely. I was like, wow. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Nigga, I was hey, like, hey, well, hey, this is hey, over. Fuck. This is crazy. I was you, fu- but, you fucking but, old boy? But, yeah, what? Yeah, no, no, no. I, but, but just on some respect shit, yeah. I was kind of like, Goddamn, okay. Yeah. Oh no, no, we're done. But nigga, that's fire. I was like, I what? absolutely respect that. So it's two things. It's Use two a bold things. motherfucker, but I, she did it, nigga. Hey, like, hey, respect my feelings enough to lie to me, nigga. No, no, no. I agree, but she didn't, and that's why I was like, yeah. I can't fuck with you, right? And she was Jamaican, and that's about knowing your mm-hmm. worth. See, I'm that's about knowing that's your worth. worth. So, do you that's need proof that someone is yeah. cheating on you to leave? Absolutely not. So then what, what help, help break it down for me. Once there's speculation, once the pH balance is thrown off. Whoa! Okay. Right. My mama told me that. 
once once things are thrown, I'm gonna look at like, all <laughs> three cameras. Nah. If things are thrown off and shit does not add up, Ooh. I don't need no motherfucking proof. The proof is in the motherfucking pudding. It's in the motherfucking pussy, baby. Yeah, it, nah. the proof is in the pussy. My mama proof told me in that. The pussy, baby. If and I will vagina, definitely like, say I don't my, need the proof. My if mama your vagina like, uh, is acting out of order, if baby. my my instincts are yeah. my instincts are stronger than proof. Damn your instincts! If that pH is thrown off, nigga. Well, the pH is the proof. That's the proof. That's what I'm, I'm like, saying. What you been showering with? What are you talking about? Yourself? I'm trying. Yeah, no, no. As a man, that's Let all me we tell got. Tell you something. Yo, yo. What's funny is we don't, don't have know. nothing else. I shaved with a different razor this time. <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I shook my man's hand before I touched you, up. So. Nah, but my mama told me that shit. She said that's how I, I knew my was ex cheating. was cheating on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I knew my ex yeah, was cheating on me, wild. and he Jesus. just used to lie to oh, me. Oh man, that's good. That's good. He used to lie to me all the time, and 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 the thing about a woman. Is if she wants to stay around, she will. And if she doesn't, mm-hmm. she won't. And exactly. she know the whole time. So, so for me, that dudes be lying and shit. So mm-hmm. listen, listen. Yeah, so for me, I don't need proof I don't that need a my motherfucking thing. I don't need proof that my girl is cheating to leave. So it. You're a leaver. Yeah, bro. What you talking about? I'm not. I'm arguing, if I'm if I'm question. so, it's all about everything at the end of the day. Like you're not gonna always have proof. You're not gonna always. It's about how I feel. You feel me? Most definitely. Because I know for a fact that this is why I don't, I don't, I don't do the phone thing. I don't go through phones. I'm not going through oh, the IG. Oh, it'll I'm never going, happen. I'm not going, going through. Terrible. I'm not going through none of that. Because once the once, <laughs> once my mindset says, "Yo, I need." You go through mine. It's around. Once the mind, once my mindset says, "Yo, I need to do this," then I'm already at the point where it's 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 just it's starting the downhill because I'm gonna say, if I go through your phone, yes, and I don't find anything. I'm going through your phone for four minutes, which technically in phone years, that's a long time. Okay? Four minutes, I can go through about 20 messages, yeah, skim through, skim yeah, read, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Most Emails, definitely. pictures, you other thing recent show deletes, you the pictures that come with the text. all that. Yeah, Click yeah. on the date yeah, of the right. pictures, try to figure everything out. Work, I, you know, work right? for phone company. I would, um, know how that work. So four or five minutes is a long time. Absolutely. So I'm going to. So if I'm you gonna, trade your phone in, on, everybody, erase your phone. So Because at the store, they're looking at your pictures. And sharing I, it with each other. And nigga. So what I'm going to say I'm is. I'm trying to th- listen. What I'm trying to say is. We see you. Go ahead. Sorry. I don't need the proof to leave because if I don't find anything in your phone, when women go through a man's phone, they don't say, if they don't find anything, I don't believe women say, oh man, I didn't find anything. Wow. This guy is really a good guy. I, I believe they're going to say, I believe women are saying, oh, he's good. <laughs> oh, oh, this Let nigga me tell is you something. good. If I feel like I need to look through your phone, I will not be with you. Yeah, so well, I will so, never right. do it. So I will me, never. I wanna, uh, do so it. let me just conclude real quick. So yeah, for me, once I that. once I feel insecure I about it. our situation, especially from my knowing myself, I'm mm-hmm. a very secure individual. I yes. am, and for the most part. So once I start feeling for insecure, once I, I mean, we all have insecurities. Once I started feeling insecure about your, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. your love for me or cool. your loyalty to me or if you are messing with, you can have desires. Once yeah. I started feeling insecure about that consistently, yes. no, baby, your how you're moving is playing on my insa- is playing on my sanity. Yeah. And I don't want to turn into the kind Most of person definitely. to start doubting women in general. So because I'm not mm. really feeling this, I'm going to just step away. That's but right. that, that could mean that Shorty could be an expert cheater. No, I agree. And then I'm going to sing, I don't want to know. Yeah. If you're playing me, keep, keep it, it on, on the low. low. Let me Good tell you job. something. I always say, right. it, and this is, I'll conclude my part right now. I don't want to know shit. You don't want to know. If what I what I don't know won't hurt me, don't let me find out. So you and my in, plan you. The thing about it is, Keep my it intuition <laughs> is extremely strong. My intuition is almost too strong. You see that turban so boy? Regardless, I will figure it out. But if you're good enough and I don't find out, let's not even cross those. Let's yeah. not even cross anything. And then, and I, and if I, it's and not I, broken, I don't gotta fix and then shit. Just to end it. I'm a nasty nigga. It's mad pussy in my phone. So if you just want to see pussy pics, it's like, come through. Like, what's up? But right, if you... Yeah, no, no, so I'm a nasty the, nigga. Uh, the, the, the thought processes of the Will of Wednesday I'm TV terrible. show is not... So I'm again, just, we're going... So, so let's so we're get out of here, bro. The level of respect... The, the level that you put into keeping certain things under wraps shows how much you respect your partner. That is true. That is, that is one of the most you, amazing points. you repeated points. it tonight? 
I'm fucking with it. I'm about 15 dick, times. I'm being a dickhead. I, I a love that I really point. got a chance to really It's like a very say good point. <laughs> I will say it's an amazing point. point. But yo, so we got to end this shit, man. Don't be sloppy out there. Yo, Do not be sloppy. Appreciate everybody for watching, man. This has been another episode I'm not of no Wednesday. Snake. Thank you so much for coming through. Appreciate it. Big Ryan. Fire. The fire. You fuck with the 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 terrible vodka. Are you are you are you are you coming back? I'm definitely we coming back. back. Oh, snap. And yeah. we got to find a way to get you back when everybody is here. I yeah. understand this is, you know. I will right. definitely we'll come back. I love Can't the wait. vibes. So, so thank y'all. Listen. I had, a f- I had ahead. so much fun. If you haven't liked, you're tripping. It's been a long time. You've been watching Facts. us. You haven't liked it. You liked right. at least one thing we said. You. If you haven't subscribed, you're tripping. We come through every week with hot fire. If true. you have not shared, you don't respect or love your friends or want to give them good wow. advice. What's wrong with you? You are you what we call fucked up. Well, Catch us next week here at Willow we'll Wednesdays. Be, Stay blessed and beautiful, family. Bow. Holla. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in to Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate thanks, the thanks, support. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace. Bow.